Hello. Welcome to the Black Dice Society. This is Season 2, Episode 24. Give a bad boy enough rope. Uriah. Desmond. Yes? Nahara. You all were swept out of Koshmar. Desmond, you reaching out for your brother Armand's hand, him telling you it won't take another 50 years for him to find you. And then there is silence. And darkness. And you find yourself in absolute pitch blackness. You can't see the hand in front of your face. Um, I shall don uh, the glasses uh, from the morning rail, the ones that allow me to see in magical darkness. Do I discern anything? When you reach for your glasses, they're not there. In fact, as you touch your body, you don't feel pockets or clothes. I'm naked? Oh! Important uh, point, do I see, because I see through magical darkness. Same thing. It, well, actually, um, give me perception at disadvantage, Nahara. Okay. Well, that first one's a nat 20, so boo. Boo. Responsible and that second rocket. one's uh, 17 plus, uh, so dirty 20. Nahara. You are aware of motion around you, but you're not magically obscured. With a dirty 20, it feels like you're, you're in something. You're, you're confined somewhere, which is why you can't see. There's just no light. What? Uh, hello? Is everyone... Do, is everyone here? Do I hear her? Uriah and Desmond, you both hear Nahara, but her voice sounds strange. Higher pitch than you're accustomed to. It's um, her. Uh, Nahara? I, Nahara? I, don't, I, I don't know what's going on. Um, Desmond casts Dark Vision on himself. When you go to cast Dark Vision, your magic does not answer you. Um, okay, so um, wherever we are, magic doesn't work the way we want it to. Uriah just begins calling out, uh, Desmond? Fen? Fen? I don't your, hear Fen. Your host, the person who has invited you, hears very small voices calling out. What, if anything, do they say? Hello? Is, Hello? Is that... Hello? Sounds like him. Piddlewick? Wow. Is it? Hello? Is it you? It's, is it you? Where, 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 where are you and where are we? Where are you and where am I? Mm. Are you That's doing you know this to I us? Am. I know where I am. Where are you? That's a good oh. question. Where are you? I'm right here. And where is right here? Where, where I'm standing. I can walk um, around if you like. Do you, yes, do, you, do you still have pants? Do you have pants? Because I, Something's happened to mine. I have many pants. Hmm. Are you wearing you, pants? No, I never wear pants. Do you have something in my size? Oh, no. Uriah, hmm. what's happened to your pants? I, I don't know. Uriah will actually try, you know, you said that he feels that he's naked. Uh, no boots, nothing. Give, Reach down and feel my feet. Give me investigation, Uriah, but you can give it with advantage. Investigation. Okay, I've got passive investigation at 21. Will that tell me anything? Mm, still roll it. Okay, so that's either a 22 or I'll take that 22. Well, good news is, Uriah, as you start to investigate a little bit, you are not naked. You're covered in something. You're wearing clothing after a fashion, but the your coat, your hat, your pouches and that you're accustomed to um, are not there. And you no. also realize you're hanging from strings. 
Um, what? How were they um, tied to something? It's difficult to say. It is absolute pitch black. Again, Nahara, I don't know if you shared. You're aware that you're you're enclosed somewhere, which is why you can't see. There's just not any light, which is why just, everything is dark. Uh, instinctively, we'll try to reach for um, the, my crystal ball. Again, nothing there. I can, I'm I'm in something. You're in something. Just um, dark everyone, in here. Every, watch your eyes, everyone. Uh, I shall cast light. Just like what happened to Desmond, your magic does not respond. No, oh, my magic is not responding. Yeah, this is uh not normal, but we'll be okay. Nothing, nothing here is normal. That's why it's here. What's here? Oh, everyone and everything. And where is here? And not right here. Where's the area that we are in right now? What is the castle? This is a dungeon? Mean, specifically? Yes. Hmm. That's a good question. If we're in Party Town, USA. Bachelor Party Town. Party Town Asa? Yes, what's, Asa. What's Asa? Party Town Asa. It's short. Hold on. Odair. Oh, Odair. Yes, you're in Odair, you goof. Odair. All of you, um, Uriah, Nahara, and Desmond, give me perception. 18. That was quick. Sheesh. <laughs> that is a 29. Um, Pitwick's voice sounds kind of muffled. 24. You hear him, but his voice sounds muffled. All three of your voices sound unusual, higher pitch than you're accustomed to, but you, you're you aware the three of you were nearby each other. Piddlewick seems like he's talking through something. Oh, uh, Piddlewick? Piddlewick, yes, you're, you're... That's, that's me, Piddlewick, wee! You, your voice sounds no. muffled. Uh, are you wearing a muffler? Uh, no, no, man. Uh, I what? like it loud. And why do we I'm sound loud? loud? What's happened? Uh, What's happened to my voice? What's happened to your voice? Oh, <laughs> your voice is much improved, milady. Why do it's... I sound like this? Well, well, wait, wait, wait. We why all do we sound, sound why, are, why are these things so high? Why yes. are... That is a much closer approximation, Desmond, to what you actually sound like. Yes. Oh, well, that sort of like... Oh, this? sort of like underpass nerves? Yes. Oh, no. What? I remember what? that my voice did not used to sound like this. Do you remember? Well, I don't remember how do we... I don't remember your voices sounding this awesome before. I don't um, remember either. I don't remember. None of this sounds awesome. Yes. If, if you can see us, can you, can you help us? I can see you. I can't help you. Why can't you help well, us? I mean, what's in it for me? You remember that one time that we helped you back at the castle? I remember. All right. Yes, yes. One could, one could say that you owe us. Whoa, whoa, whoa Ooh, man. Good time. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is going to be really awkward when you find out why you're here, man. Okay. Come why on. Why are Come on. Talking about how I owe you. Now we're talking about how much, how much you owe us. Because, I mean, certain, obviously you owe us. But, like, certain, oh. somebody is getting married. You found out about that? And we yes. like to have parties to let him sow his final wild oats. Oh, whoa, 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 Remember? That's a touch of subject. You remember? I'm not married. I wasn't married. I don't want anybody trying to sell any wild oats near me. And you don't know what it's like to lose your wild oats. Oh, I don't get it twisted. I know where my wild oats are. You're about to lose um, those wild oats, man. Hey, look, 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 I, look, I, I thought I'm the person who was trying to lose wild oats. Last, last. 
Oh, I'm yeah. All right, so I, I'll decline. I decline. <laughs> you no, can't you. decline here. We. When Piddlewick says you can't decline, a light bursts through as a cabinet door swings <laughs> open, and the three of you can see each other for the first time. You all are dolls. <laughs> And what hello, is this? and welcome to the Black Dice Society Season 2, Episode 23, 24, 24. Give a bad boy enough rope. Uh, as always, this is Ravenloft. It is a horror story. As such, there may be content that you don't encounter in other D&D streams. As always, I am aware of the cast lines and veils. They have ways of letting me know if something is wrong. If the scene should shift suddenly, uh, you'll know why. Although I think the biggest risk so far is me laughing too hard at all of this <laughs> as it goes on. <laughs> um, before we begin, as always, thank you to our sponsors. Thank you to Die Hard Dice. Use code BDS to get 10% off your order. Uh, thank you to T Public. Our store is live. Uh, hats, masks, pillows, anything you want, you get at T Public. Secret lab chairs. All of us, almost all of us are rocking a secret lab today, I believe. Um, idle champions, as always. Type exclam code into chat there. Uh, you can type exclam BDS art. Get our museum quality art print, as always. Uh, every one of these that we sell, we make a donation to world builders to help in global hunger. And of course, we have a Patreon. Uh, which is still chock full of bonus content, including bonus content that is going up this very weekend, but I'm going to save what it is as a surprise until next week uh, at patreon.com forward slash the Black Dice Society. Now, let us meet. We're going we're gonna to come around the bottom of the horn here, um, starting with the artist formerly known as Uriah. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mark Mir. Uh, I use he, him pronouns, as does my character, Brother Uriah Macabre, cleric of the grave and worshiper of Ezra, Lady of the Mists. And Nahara? Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Nora Ibrahim. My pronouns are she, her, as is my character, Nahara, who is a little, a little doll version, Nahara. She is a <laughs> reborn fallen as our undead bardlock. I'd like the record to show they didn't know that was going to happen. That all happened nope. in real time. <laughs> You saw that live, by the way. Guess I might have to I... pick a different voice. I might have to. I don't know how long I can maintain hey, that hey, one. Hey, I, I get it. Yeah, meatwad it. We got theater of the mind <laughs> of, of, your, of, of your meatwad golem, Uriah, here. Uh, that's fine. Uh, and Desmond. Oh, hi. I'm DJ Knight, a.k.a. Desmond. Uh, I'm a human ranger, like and throat. And uh, our pronouns are he, him. Thank you for coming to hang out with us. You can find me at DJ Knight everywhere. You're awesome. Thank you for coming to hang out with us. And alas, but certainly not least, Piddlewick 2. Ah, greetings everyone, tis I, Piddlewick 2, back for more fun. <laughs> uh, and as always, uh, a thank you to Finn, uh, Tanya, Cypher of Tears. She is tied up at Twitch chat, but she is here in spirit. I assured you she would have absolutely hated what is about to happen. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> And with all of that firmly in mind, <laughs> on with our show.
as you all look around the room, it is an odd scene. Uh, it looks like what probably was a cobbler's shop, if that were also set up in a tavern. Um, there are empty tankards and flagons, plates with a, a few crumbs left on them, wooden tools, and all around you are toys. Uh, marionettes, just like you, laying all strewn all about, some of them in various states of repair, some of them uh, completely made and hung delicately with care from the walls, others thrown around the floor, some unfinished. But an important point of clarification, what does the doll version of you look like? I'll start. The doll version of Desmond looks like a regular Desmond, except he has his hair, his locks are also like partially changed into his wolf form. His shoulders are like more wolfy than he normally is, and his like, his claws are on his fingers. So he's like half changed as a doll. So whoever made this doll knows that he is what he is, and that is disrespectful because they shouldn't remember that. They shouldn't remember that at all. In each of you, I will also insert, there are strings that come off of you, like points of articulation, but they go up to nowhere in particular. So as you move, it looks like something is moving you, but you can't make out a hand or anything that is uh, moving you around. Nahara or Uriah, what do you look oh. like? Uh, as he's realizing this, Uriah is like, oh, this is utterly ghastly. And the doll version of Uriah is actually very simplified, uh, like very sort of like square block head, just two dots for eyes. Very, it's just a slash for a mouth. And they uh, uh, think very Terrence Canadian and, of you. Think Terrence and Philip. Uh, so yeah, just sort of like that. Uh, and uh, of course, does have uh, the tricorn hat and the coat, but it's uh, you know sort of sculpted on, uh, and. Uh, also has uh, tiny little uh, raven feathers sticking out of the, out of his back. All right, and Nahara. Uh, <laughs> Nahara is a very like the sweetest little anime plushie. Um, her her wings are still feathered, and they also have little strings coming out of them. Um, oh, my, oh my god, what what has happened to little? And she like uh, as she's like put like touching like parts of her body. You hear that little squeak toy squeak. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> what is what is this what's happening to me a that is your squeaker and b you have become one zillion percent more excellent uh, i don't understand how how has this happened welcome to O'Gare. happy bachelor party why would i want this for a bachelor party I would you not want this for your bachelor party is the question you'll be asking at the end of the night. Does, does everybody who comes to this land end up looking like this? Well, not like that. I mean, each, each has their own individual look. I mean, not like that. Uh, recall, uh, since unfortunately my image is not cooperating, uh, Piddlewick, although a doll, is the size of a child. Piddlewick's about three feet tall. Uh, each of you are about 18 inches tall, so Piddlewick is much larger than you are. Uh, he very much... How's it feel now, bitches? <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember when we always... didn't call you a bitch? You remember? Re oh, didn't remember? you? We were no. always friends, remember? Oh, all right. I thought we were friends, buddy. Right, 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 right. Sometimes I forget. Yes, yes. Um, uh, best, uh, best you. Um, we we remind you constantly that we are, in fact, friends. All right, you keep reminding me. Mm -hmm. um, do you mind if I just have a, a brief word with uh, my companions? Uh, a word away, if you like. Mm -hmm. Mind if I listen? Uh, right. Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Actually, it's fine. Um, why would you ask? <laughs> Who, who who rules here? Who rules? He who parties hardest. Um, who is that? Um, Who's the current uh, uh, holder of that title? Uh, uh, what? Yeah, just, I'll meet them soon. I 
want to make oh. a grand entrance. All right, he's going to make a grand entrance. And of course it's going to be grand, we're also tiny. Let's not brush it, hey? I, I just, I, I just wanted this to look cool, okay? You keep all right, all right. Hey, listen, he's really uptight about this kind of thing, so no matter what you think, just tell him it looks really cool. Be That's like cool. in awe. All right. It's okay. best to just go along with things what here. What happens if we don't go? What? What happens if we don't? Oh, you, you look around, you see all these... Dolls? Puppets yeah. in various stages of undone. Oh. oh. Yeah, oh, they're not okay. being built. They're being unbuilt. <gasps> oh. Okay. Okay. Un unbuilt. I got to do it from above. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> Wait, am, am I helping? I'm, I'm yes. I, do I do I mean to do like a a, a a a trumpet call or something? No, no. This is this. I'm following your lead. You're the expert. You said you are our guest. They're your guests. Which is, I, I mean, they ask about who's in charge, and I just, I, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna stop until it's time. All right. You asked for him. Now you got him. Boys and girl, please welcome the hardest buyer in the land, the leader. And the door bursts open, and you do hear tiny cheers coming in. As you see a wooden doll that's sculpted like um, a boy. Um, it looks like a fairly stylized representation of what a little boy would look like, um, who was also about the same size as Piddlewick. As and my boy! Yeah, I'm, I'm Maligno. Hi, hey, hey, Piddlewick. Hey, what hey, up, hey, I hey. find Maligno? Yeah! Is this, wait, I thought there were four of them. Where's the other one? Ah, oh, man, um, you don't get that other one's a real drag. Ooh, well, you know, thank goodness Fen is not here because um she was really mad. Yeah, yeah. She she didn't like me on my best days. Oh, yes, uh, perhaps fortunate that um we uh we find ourselves Fenness, but uh, she must be somewhere, and I don't think she should be alone with that sword. Oh. That's uh an awkward thing to say about a person, but hey, look, I just wanted to welcome you all to Odair. Uh, Pedalwick is like a brother to me. It's like we come ah! from the same block. Ah, uh, stop. Uh, he said he wanted to come have a bachelor party for you. Uh, we've spared no expense. Whatever you guys want to do, you can do. Um, there's a, a jelly bean buffet. There's a, there, there's rat races. Um, you rat can, races! You can bet on them or you can ride them. Ride um, them. There's a... a we have a, a voodoo doll uh, tutorials where you can torment those that you don't like in other places. Um, uh -huh. There's a lot of crime taking place, but oh, not so much crime. <laughs> there's a lot. Of crime. Uh, you can, there's a torture of Muppet booth. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. A lot of fun. Yeah. I don't know well, about that, but the voodoo one sounds really nice. <laughs> oh, really? Um, uh, thank you so very much. Thank you. For, for extending this kind hospitality. Uh, hey, you, you know what? And he comes and he like puts an arm around you, which again, he's twice your size. He's like, I, I like you, Uriah. I like you. Piddlewick said you were kind of uptight. He said you had a stick up, up it. And I just, I'm used to that because we're puppets. Um, But you seem pretty relaxed, but we're going to make sure you have a good time, buddy. Of course, of course. Yes, yes. It's how very... Kind of you. Very kind. I am nothing if not kind and generous. Um, it is so true, Maligno. It is 100% true. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, my boy! Yeah. <laughs> Maligno, my boy! <laughs> I'm a real boy. Yeah. Okay. So. One day. One, one day. I mean, yeah. One day. 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 Precious overrated. Maligno. Precious so overrated. One day, Piddlewick, is going to happen. You don't want it. You don't want it. Yeah, hey, I didn't mean to harsh you, Mello. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. You guys have a good time. And, um, 
don't worry what's happening to your meat suits. I assure you, it's probably going to be okay. And he disappears yeah. in a puff of smoke. Uh, um, mm. Listen, Don, can we huddle in real quick? Yes. Yes. Yes, mm. let's huddle in. Um, all right. This is really rude and I don't like it, but nothing's trying to kill us so far. So, and things have been trying to kill us. Every day. Yes, you yes. I, 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 yes, but uh, something might be happening to our, did they say meat suits? Uh, to our yeah. meat? What, what's happening to our Kinda meat like, suits? What's happening to our meat suits? The meat suits are somewhere safe and in a relatively defilement free zone. You said um, relatively, that typically means that like there may be some defilement. I don't want that asterisk. Your worst, and it's relatively better than that. All right, all right. I think relatively better than the worst. Okay. I, I I think that perhaps the best way to get through this is to um engage do it, engage. Do it, baby. Yes, yes. We're go, we're we're going to take Piddlewick's advice and we're going to to party. Yes. Uh, we'll we'll do a few of the um, activities and then uh, once we have finished them, uh, we will uh, mingle uh, a little bit and then uh, we'll say our goodbyes and we'll thank our host very much and we'll be on our way. Here's the yes. deal. Yeah, first of all, here's the deal, Uriah. Hmm? This is your bachelor party. We are going to, excuse the phrase, since you are all on strings, cut loose. We're not actually going to cut you loose. I cannot promise what would happen if we this do. This is the opposite of that. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, mm. This is not, since this is not your meat suit, this is another, feel free to go wild, man. Can Use that body to do whatever you want. It's not yours. I, voodoo torture I, chamber, voodoo torture chamber. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, I but I mean, I'm a, a doll. Could I... Could I even eat and drink at this party? What do you want to eat and drink? Did you not hear about the jelly bean bar? Wait, wait, wait. I, I, I know, but I mean, bar? do I have a digestive system? Well, I don't understand how this works. I don't know how this works. Jelly beans are like hard drugs here. So oh. having a bar full of them is I don't think I want any jelly beans. I, I, look, I yes, yes, jelly yes, you do. Yes, yes, you do. I think I'll be uh, rat racing. Rat imagine, racing. Yes. Rat racing imagine. sounds good. We can sounds start good. there. Rat racing. racing or voodoo. Voodoo. Either way. No jelly beans for me, thank you. Um, yes. Uh, so, uh, yes. Uh, voodoo. Rat racing. But uh, <laughs> also know that here you are bound by puppet physics, which is like being unbound by any physics you know. Whoop. 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 Whoop! Puppet physics. Oh, wait, I well, let me try that. Just like in every direction. I don't. I don't Whoa. know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> that not... Mine wasn't quite as smooth. Well, you'll get used to it. I don't. I don't like that. I don't. And maybe that's more of an advanced move. Sorry. Not used to newbies. Oh. A... Psst, Pedalwick. What? I want to try one of those jelly beans. Okay, let's go to the jelly bean bar. It's right this way. Okay. You guys want to head out to the jelly bean bar? <laughs> <laughs> we were going rat racing or voodoo. Well, yeah, all right. oh, we can go. Right. Let's, let's rat race. Let's rat race. Let's rat race. You will enjoy. You will enjoy everything more if we bean up first. Hmm. Okay. I love like yeah, this. We bean race. with the beans, and then you hit the rat races and all the other fun stuff. It's probably better to voodoo before you rat race because you might strike it big. <sighs> oh. So we'll okay. do it before we rat race because it could be a problem afterwards if we do it in the other way. Hey, who knows? Who knows what like the problem is going like to do to you, you know? Do we have to choose who we voodoo? All right, look, there is a chance that we might have to do everything in order to be freed, so we might as well start with the jelly bean bar, I suppose. I would say there's more than a chance. Hmm, Yes. Yes, that's how oh, these things if usually work. I take work. my little hands and I do this. <laughs> oh, that's 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 nice. So I just like, ah, I get the blow kisses and just wave at people like, hello, look at my little hands. Oh, look and see how fun it is. Oh, this is nice. I like being little. This see, is cool. See you guys. I. Your frowns are already turning upside down. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes, um, thank you, Piddlewick. Uh, well, 
We must start up as jelly beans. As we you must will mm. walk towards the door uh, and open it up, uh, give me perception checks. All of us? Yes. For Desmond, Nahara, and say. Uriah, yes. All right, I'm going to roll the 13. Uh, that is total 23 for me. I believe I have a 24. Um, Nahara, you're ready to go get beamed up. Like, let's like let's do it. Leaving, <laughs> leaving with Piddlewick. Desmond and Uriah, you notice as you all are leaving, several of the dolls laying around turn and watch as you go. They turn their heads just a little. But they don't move again. Um... I don't think I like how any of them just look at me just now. I don't appreciate it. But it's not nice. I don't like it. You saw them all look at us, right? Yes. You, you know, it's funny. You think being a doll yourself, you would find dolls less creepy. But I can empirically state that is not the case. That is not the case. Uh, is you all make your way out, um, Nahara, you see... Um, an interesting, an interesting scene. Uh, it looks like the town, but if the entire town had just been overrun by like a daycare rager, I mean, there's buildings, there's a bakery, there's a blacksmith, there's a, you know, innkeeper, there was a constable, uh, but walls are colored over. Um, uh, things have been built out of logs like dolls. Um, there are animals, but they're just completely walking around wild and free, but like horses that have um, their tails are tied into ponytails and there's bubble gum all stuck in their manes. Uh, but you also see something not so dissimilar to what you encountered at the Witchlight Carnival, but very poorly made. Uh, there is a tattered big top not like in the carnival where it was tattered and worn because it was so old. This is tattered because it basically was made from like uh, uh, tablecloths and bedspreads that were just sort of cobbled together to make a big top. Um, there are, um, similar to how Witchlight had the dragonfly races, uh, there are birds that just have like a rope tied around their neck, which are flying around uh, in circles. And there you hear lots and lots of laughter and cheering and happy noises, but you don't really see anybody. Ah, oh, this place is so colorful, Pivorek. Oh yeah! Look up, and then she like looks down, and there's like a uh, like a big chalk hopscotch. So she starts hopping as she's saying this hopscotch. Hmm. This is this is amazing. I'm like, I know, right? Not trying to jump really high. And she like kind of burps all of a sudden, and it's just like like you blew a bubble. Mm -hmm. Like there's just like a bubble floating around in the air, and she pops mm -hmm. it. And when you <laughs> pop it, it just goes. Hick. But Pedalrek, where is everybody? What do you mean, like the populace? Uh, yeah, I hear people, but I don't see anyone. Oh, they're around. You'll see them mm. eventually. Right. Uh, uh, where's our first stop then on this cavalcade of fun? Bean bar, bitches. Have you not been paying attention? Bean bar, right. Right. I suppose if we have to do everything to get out of here, then yes. Very well, to the bean bar. So we've got a pre game before it's, we go to the other stuff. You mm -hmm. all are walking around. Um, a little girl comes walking around the corner. She's wearing uh, a nightgown uh, that is very muddy and filthy. Her face is covered in dirt, and her hair is kind of um, matted with being unwashed and is eating a candy apple the size of her head. She goes, oh, hi. Hello. How? Oh, she's so pretty. Yeah. And she picks up Nahara and squeaks like, bee -hee, bee -hee, bee -hee. Oh. <laughs> No, I don't like them. Put me down. Uh, oh. Nahara, give me a deck save. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yeah. All right. I rolled an eight. A, you are squirming and she's not hurting you uh but she smells terrible and you start getting caramel all in your hair no, she no, basically no, has no. the candy apple to the back of your head while she's squeezing you no, 
my god, help me! So You're such a pretty no. dolly. Oh my goodness. Uh, please, miss, miss, um, I'll attempt a persuasion roll. Uh, okay. Miss, I, I wonder if you might uh, put my friend down. Um, uh, if you get uh, caramel on her, she won't be quite as pretty as she was before. Um, you know, no. dust and whatnot. Oh, and she very slowly put, you see Nahara's hair lift. Ow, 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 ow. And yes, she just, like, we... looks at the caramel apple and she goes, do you want a bite, Mr. Dolly? <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, we must be careful to keep our toys in mint condition, as they say. Yes, but preferably in box. Hmm. Oh, and she just takes a big bite out of the candy apple, hair and all, and just kind of goes. <laughs> ah. And I press to digitate myself back to uh, non-caramel sticky status. Thank you. <laughs> your magic does not answer you. <gasps> It's just the hair is just stuck. <laughs> that must be terrible for someone who can press the digitate and is used to doing it and then not being able to. It's just, it's it's the greatest blow of all. Oh my Hello, gosh. Inahara. We'll Hello. find some peanut butter later to put in there and get that out. No, what's that going to do? It's going to make it worse. I'm going to make it oily and we'll take that caramel right out of it. And she very much anime cries. <laughs> Where it's, <laughs> where it's just strange of tears. Yeah. Yes. Weird. She, where she, did they go? They disappear like right off of your face. The little girl looks at you and she goes, I'm sorry, Dolly. Do you want a bath? No, no, no. Please, somebody, somebody, please distract her. Please, I don't know. Uh, yes, yes, uh, that, that, might be, uh, that might be a bad idea because it could uh, further uh, reduce the mint condition uh, of the toys. I do not toys. consent. I do not consent. Yes. And, and do you want to play me in a game of rock, paper, scissors? Oh, a challenge. She looks at you and she goes, winner gets the rest of my apple. Oh. I like it. I'm with those steaks. She goes, one, two, three, go. And very much misses the count, like, completely. Mm. Oh. Okay, and she just, just right in your face, Desmond. I mean, again, your face, torso, just caramel apple just sticks to it with, like, half of it eaten in Nahara's hair and the other half of it. Just... <laughs> Like Desmond just has the apple on his head, and he's just I'm like, "I'm so sorry." Mm, rock never wins. I like, rock always wins. Always trust rock because rock is going to win every time. You should have thrown that game. The winner got the apple. You didn't. You didn't want the apple. Is the thing. Hmm. Uh, too late. It's my apple now. Um, Piddlewick, do you, do you know? Bite out of the apple. Piddlewick, do you do you know who this child is? Uriah. Who is this child? Yes. Do I know who this child is? Hmm. They all look alike, Piddlewick. They all look alike to me. The reels, oh. the reels all look alike to me. Call me um, racist. Oh, all, all the wait. <laughs> the reels. The, the children. The reels. The reels. Oh. The real people. The only oh. way I can tell you guys apart is by your clothing. This is the only time you have looked distinctive to me. Hmm. Have you guys seen my mommy? Oh, oh no. my God! Look how there's more of you. I think she went over there. Oh, okay, and immediately just heads off in the direction that you motion. Petalwick. Right, I'm gonna happily. I, I'm gonna live more jelly boons. <laughs> it's gonna bean up. Then we can hit that peanut butter bar and get that caramel out of your hair. Wait, 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 <laughs> after, after a few more jelly boons, I might not care about the peanut butter anymore. <laughs> All right. So okay, uh, okay, uh, okay. So tell me, tell me. Hear me out. Peanut butter caramel apples. Oh, I like mm, where you're right, going with this. Right, come yeah, on. Bring that yes, apple with us. Come on, bring that apple. We'll experiment. Put your hands in the air if you believe me. You know it's good. <laughs> she will. <laughs> you know it's good. Make your way through this town. Again, you see um, the doors of most of the houses are open, and you do see there are lots of children that just kind of come and go freely. Uh, they. You guys every... see anything you like, you can just take it. Hmm. Yep, everything um, is just sort of like wrecked. Uh, but you know, they're kind of coming and going. You see, there's like uh, piles of blankets just in the middle of what were probably living rooms with children sleeping in them. Um, there's uh, a, a couple of places where, again, you can tell there was a a, a tavern that probably had um, 
a stew, like a hundred year stew going, uh, that a slightly older looking girl, she might be maybe about 12 or so, uh, is over there stirring. Um, and you see the kids are, but they're running around having a great time. Uh, and you do see, uh, the, the jelly bean buffet. The jelly beans are for you guys about the size of your head. They're like, they're like watermelons for you. Hmm. Is, um, is the dark Lord of this realm a child? That's what? Um, you know, the, the one, uh, pulling the strings, as they say. As, you know, in our current situation, that metaphor is actually quite hurtful. Yeah, we don't, we, don't, we, don't, we, don't talk, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that part. We don't, we don't talk about that part. I don't want to talk about that part. Bad things happen when you talk about that part. What bad things? All of you give me perception checks. Oh, boy. I've been bad at these so far. Oh. 27. 19. A three. <laughs> <laughs> Fiddlewick, you don't care anyway. Uh, Uriah, all no, all three of you hear Desmond's roar, Desmond's lycanthrope roar. But Uriah, right after that, you hear. Wah! Wah! Oh, ah, ah, ah. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Is someone playing with our meat suits? Why, yes, why, someone's wearing why? your meat suit, I think. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, do do away, meat suit? Excuse me for a second. I, just want, I have a question. Yes. I, I hope to answer it, yes. You said that our bodies were relatively safe. Are they safe? Here? I never said the word safe. Mm, I said so relatively think... defilement. Free zone. I, th I think safe um, was mentioned true. at some you point. You did say that. That's true. Mm -hmm. but like, I remember the defilement bit. I remember that bit. Very well. Um, are, are they nearby? Are they near money? Are they nearby? Oh, are they near... I, that doesn't sound like any more. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Uh, Can we investigate this? Yes, I mean, I agree. Why don't we have some jelly beans first, hit that voodoo stand, we can get your meat suits later. Right when you say that, another doll that is about the same size as you all, wearing um, a fluffy green dress and her face is painted completely white with bright red lips, riding on a little unicycle, comes up holding a jelly bean in two hands. And she goes, first taste is free. It'll make you feel like you're flying. Who wants right, it? Right, right. We have to pay for jelly beans? No, no, not for the first one. Not for the first they one. Did say, they did say the first one was free, yes. Um, well, all right. As I say, it may be the only way to get through this and be reunited with our meat suits. So um, how does one... Am I expected to eat this entire thing? I mean, not with that attitude. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. Lighten up. Yeah, what's, so, that, what's this guy's deal? So your eyes sort of upper head and jaw separate, <laughs> Terrence and Phillips style. <laughs> <laughs> like, puts the edge of the jelly bean in there and like... Uh, give me a con save, Uriah. You bet. I think I get a whole plus one to that. Uh, yeah, that'd be a five. Yes, five. You're right. You feel great. Like, Piddlewick was right. Like, okay, maybe, you know, this is a, uh, hey, <sighs> if, if you were doing a Darconian bachelor party, you'd have brought Nahara anyway. Maybe you should just cut back, man. Let's let loose. Yes. Yes, it's, it's the bachelor party for after all. It's, yes, it's, it's a party. We might as well party, yes? It's party, yes. Yes, yes. But I just heard my me too. I just heard me roaring and angry. Like, if I try to roar right now, it just doesn't sound right. I was like, roar. That does, that's does not scary. That's not, you see, I don't like it. You see I'm pretty sure it counts as defilement. This yes. little, uh, this little uh, marionette on the unicycle just rides up next to you, and she just puts her arm around your shoulder, Desmond, and she just leans in and just goes, "Just take flight, baby." <laughs> it's you, <laughs> the jelly bean. Okay, so I take this. Yeah. Gigantic jelly bean. What color is it? Is green? Is it the green one? It is green. Yep. Is the whole thing mine, or do I have to share it? She goes, well, <laughs> I mean, there's plenty to go around. It's a buffet. 
So basically, you just gave me this one. Do they also get a free one? Like, why are you guys so, so, so suspicious? Piddle with I don't know. You so can tell me, man. Yeah. Not even your body. Go for it. Now they got my body in, in some room around here. I hear I heard well, it my doesn't sound like any more it's in a room. She, oh, no. she looks at you and she says, oh, are you scared that it's poison? It's not poison. And she just takes a big bite out of it. And you notice that like right when she bites it and she's chewing it in front of you, like her little doll pupils just dilate. <laughs> the, oh, buttons yeah. the buttons just get bigger. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, Uriah's did the same thing. They just went, but it's, they're actually carved wood, but they just physically got bigger. Like, <sighs> yeah. That man, she's eating her stash. Wow. You're going to try it, Desmond? Oh, oh. Can I try it? You know, I, you know, I, and Nahara. Or do you want to try it first? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I think I'm perfect, as a matter of fact. <laughs> um, yeah. Do they have a plink jar, then? Uh, yeah, yeah. P pink, Any pinkies in there? Yeah, it's just what, it, whatever one you want. And she does motion. And when she motions, you see there is what looks like we're probably once feeding troughs for animals that are overflowing with jelly beans. All right, so Nahar will grab one. Look at Desmond. At the soul, um, same time. Okay, same time. A little bite. Don't, don't, don't like. She looks, she's like a big bite. We have a big bite. Oh, fuck it. The Nahar just takes like the giant bite. Uh, give me a con save with disadvantage, Nahara. Okay, but I think I have, uh, I think I have advantage on, oh, no, no, no. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Con save with a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Desmond, you're biting it? <gasps> okay. First one was a net. I'm always rolling 20s when I have disadvantage and they don't count. That is true. When I see Nahara bite it, I also bite it because I don't want her to bite it alone. That's just rude. I was already tripping, it is man. A tiny bite. It's not a big bite. It's a tiny bite. Desmond has learned from eating things like, you know, plants that you don't take big bites of anything anymore. Because that's that's how you got a toe. You got to just mm, you get a nibble. You got to nibble. Right. Otherwise, no. I'm really hoping there's no toes in this. Um, what, what, what but I, I rolled a 13. Nahara, again, you feel fantastic. But If something out of one of Nahara's dreams, a pleasant dream, was going to spring to life in front of you, what would it be? A good thing. A good thing. Um, I think it would be uh, a childhood memory that she hasn't remembered in this iteration of her lifetime. I'm going to say this without doing this voice. Uh, so this uh, this... Memory comes back from not this lifetime of hers, but she is a child. And though it's like um, not very lavish at all, it's, it's very meager, but very loving. She is sitting down in, an, in like the middle of a field, like a flowery field. And her grandmother is throwing her a birthday party and Seja is there, and there are these like little tiny pastries that um, that her grandmother has made that you can tell um, are not fancy at all, but they were made with a lot of love and care. Um, and there are a few of like the neighborhood children, um, and it's this like just feeling of warmth that she hasn't felt in a very long time. This scene opens up in front of all of you and all of you see it with one difference grandmother isn't there the party's there the spread's there the kids are there the pastries are there no grandma but you do all see this as as nahara takes a bite of the apple and her eyes widen too it's like the miss ripple and you are at this delightful party and when the children look at you, Nahara, what do they call you? Uh, they still call me Nahara. That was her first 
name that she was given for her others. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you all I see wish it. she mm-hmm. is now realizing. Including you, Pedalwick. Wow. Question, is Nahara still a doll or is she now a child? Uh, she, you, it is doll. This basically, this opens up in front of doll Nahara. For lack of a better word, at the risk of using a different parlance, it's like somebody turned on the holodeck. Like, yeah, but we got like birthday party hats on. <laughs> oh, yeah. so it's all, it's all doll skin. And those like streamers. The, chi- the children in the memory are still children. Hmm. But Nahara is still here as a doll. It's just like she's at the head of this table that just appears in front of her after she bites into the jelly bean. Um, but Sedja is in doll form. A little Sedja doll. Little, mm-hmm. little plush of Sedja. And uh, where, where are we seated? Uh, this... you, you're seated around the table amongst the other kids. Oh, um... you, got, you got hats on. Nahara, did, did, did you do this? As she still has the jelly bean in her hand, Mobile? <laughs> she had help from the jelly bean. Desmond, <laughs> uh, con save, please. Does it have disadvantage as well or no? No, you said you took a little bite. Just a pure con save. All right. <laughs> You kind of can't help but just unwind a little bit, Desmond. That it's like, oh, okay, all right, we're we're here for a party. We're here for a party. Like you're not completely dispossessed of your senses. You aren't kind of staring at your hand like Uriah is, or conjuring beloved childhood memories like Nahara. Uh, but you do feel kind of like, oh, all right, okay, okay. You guys do see, though, that now Nahara has, like, a little Velcro on her arm, and plushy Seja is, like, stuck to the side of her arm. Like, she's carrying her, but she still has her hands free. Well, I have to say, uh, Piddlewick, thank you for taking us to the um, jelly bean bar. Well, what's next on our agenda? This is amazing. Well, we could. If Uriah ever finish, I mean, I'm sorry, Uriah. If Desmond ever finishes that jelly bean, we can go hit that voodoo stand. Why? Wow. Yes, yes. yes. Voodoo bar. Why don't we just go to the stand now? What's that? Why don't we just go to the stand? Yes, take that jelly bean to go, shall we? Yeah. Let's, let's wow. move on with the party. Oh. Let's go. We partying. We partying. It's voodoo time, too. <laughs> oh, you... You guys are gonna go bean hopping. Okay, have a good time. There you go. That's how we roll. Yeah. No, enjoy. You gotta wait, hop wait, those wait. beans. Roll, and she looks down at the unicycle. She's like, do you, do you guys want to ghost ride the whip? I mean, do you want to? Oh, is that a What kind of question is that? We are down to ghost ride the thing. Ghost, 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 ghost ride that whip, y'all. Ride. When she says that, unicycles appear under each of you. Oh, <gasps> you gave me my own. Mm-hmm. I, I, mine's got a little like there's there's like a little handlebar, but there's like a little squeak. It's crack, 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 crack. <laughs> Mine's got a horn. <laughs> Uh, wait, well, I, well, now I need the full description. Like, I mean, are there rims? What color is the tire? I mean, let's Lisa Frank this piece. What, what does Nahara's unicycle look like? Nahara's unicycle is a uh, sparkly pink um, body with like the wheel has like rainbow. It's a, the spokes all make a rainbow. Um, and then like she's got one little like handlebar in it with that crack, 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 a little horn, and then it's got like tassels, rainbow tassels. Perfect. What what does Uriah's unicycle look like? <laughs> uh, it's like his design. It's very simple, and it's uh, you know like penny farthing style. Like it's a giant little <laughs> wheeled unicycle. So, and he's like really awkwardly at the top. Like his arms are pinwheeling constantly. He never seems to lose his balance, but it always looks like he's like that style of toy where it almost looks like he'll always lose his balance. <laughs> And what does Desmond's look like? Desmond's unicycle looks like a big wheel. If you've ever heard of big wheels, you know what it looks like. It's like it's got a seat and then just kind of like it's all like plastic. And then it just like kind of rolls up into a gigantic wheel in the front where it's it's like a unicycle, but it's like a low rider unicycle. 
And, and what, what does the Piddlewick mobile look like? It looks like the war boys from Fury Road built a unicycle. Perfect. <laughs> Made of car parts and human bones. Oh my God. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> is oh, let's burn these whips, bitches. Um, is, you guys go rolling through here. Again, now you realize there are these children everywhere, but you also notice intermittently, just every once in a while, you notice another doll uh that it that is up doing something or walking around or playing with a child most of them are just laying around just like randomly in doorways just kind of like a kid was playing with it and just dropped it like just face down in the middle of the street type thing but some of them are up and doing things every time piddlewick walks by you notice they're always like what piddlewick man last night was wild buddy i i know it's the best <laughs> You know, you come in here was the best thing that ever happened to us. Just never, for, up. never forget that. How never long have we been here? Yeah. Oh, me? Since last I saw you. You've been here the whole time? Sure. Why would I not be? Because um, we we're told it was years, decades. We were well, um, at least 40. We were indisposed uh, and preserved. Well, I don't know. Time's weird here, man. Yeah. But kids, they don't grow up. That's hmm. true. Oh, but where are the adults? The, the grown-ups. Adults? The grown-ups. Where are they? We no, don't we don't. Talk about that part. That's another part we don't talk about. Right. You see, when Piddlewick says that, another one of the puppets leans in just with his, but just goes. Anyway, have a good time. And, and just like go, literally go skipping off. And like uh, there's like a crowd of screaming children that be happily screaming, not screaming, screaming. Like <laughs> joyous screaming children uh, run past. Uh, again, all the kids you see are filthy and tattered. Like some of their clothes, you can see there were at least attempts at patchwork. Um, by actually all of you give me insight checks. Ah, I'm good at this one. Mm -hmm. Perception, not Piddlewick, so Piddlewick, you don't have to, because this is something Piddlewick knows. Excellent. <laughs> 29. Uh, 31. Uh, that ain't eight. I got a plus 16 on that. Very, in very insightful. Uh, I mean, uh, Desmond, your mind is elsewhere. You know, you're, you're still uh, what? You, what you're still laying into this green jelly bean here? Um, Uriah uh -huh. and Nahara, as you guys are making your way through, you kind of put together that it's like the older kids are taking care of the younger kids to the best of their ability. Uh, most of them are, are doing things that it's like. They were never taught, but they'd seen done. That's why they're aware that there's some correlation between a, a needle and string and sewing some, but they never had to type thing. Um, but the oldest kid you see anywhere is about 12. And they're still having a good time too. I mean, they're, they're, they, they seem to be having a ball as well. But anytime you see, like, if you smell food cooking, if you see some approximation of laundry being done, it's all the older kids. Yeah. Those kids are all unsupervised. Yes. And they're dirty. Yes. yes. Just like a kid would like to be unsupervised and dirty. Hmm. I don't know much about the latter part. <laughs> perfect. It's perfect. What What kind of child were you, Nahara? Uh, a clean one. <laughs> uh, gross. <laughs> hmm. A stick in the mud. Uh, what about all the, you know, sort of bookish sorts of children, the ones that uh, don't really like roughhousing and, you know, the sort of child I was? What, yeah, they, where... don't, they don't last here. They don't last, right. Oh, no, they do not last. Mm -hmm. You're right. I'll give you with that insight. I mean, you do see the odd child that is like sitting up in a, in a higher up window or something, reading a book, you know, like they're not all just raging. But the overwhelming majority of the kids are like in unsupervised kindergarten that has been super dosing pixie sticks. 
is okay. the vibe. It's, so <laughs> spotting this, after hearing from Piddlewick, spotting this, Uriah is like very relieved that all uh, the, the more shy children were not eaten by oh, the rest. Yeah. So oh, yeah, like, like, <laughs> they don't <laughs> last down here. They usually take higher ground. I'm sorry. Yes. No, I'm no. I, I, my it is very important to have high ground. It's uh, it's vital. Yes. I was a bullied child. I know. All right. So that's let's, what for reading. Mm. How do they have a children's library? Mm. Um, so um, we can't talk about uh, certain things, such oh. as... Oh, let's go to the voodoo shop. Oh, voodoo yeah, shop. let's go to the voodoo shop. Voodoo shop, yes. I've been waiting to go to the voodoo shop because... We went to all the trouble of describing our unicycles and we're just sitting here. Let's go. Whoa. As you're making your way through town, again... Um, each of you, even you, Piddlewick, all of you give me deck saves. Ooh, I don't think I get anything to that. No, nope. <laughs> that's a that's a natural two. I get a oh, I get a thirteen. Oh, I rolled an eleven. I got a twenty-six. As you all are riding through on all of these like fantastic things, as you kind of come around the corner. There is just an explosion of children from all sides that just pounce on you all like NFL linebackers because you guys are really great toys riding really great unicycles. Desmond, you having your lower center of gravity are able to kind of run this gauntlet, but Uriah, Nahara, and even you, Piddlewick, are basically like scooped up by kids that are like, ah! vroom, 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 vroom. No, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, she's, yeah. got, she's got camo yeah. in her hair. Oh, no, don't put them in your mouth. That's nasty. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, please, uh, if you could put us down, we're we're on our way to the voodoo uh, thing. What not? Unhand my little children. <laughs> Desmond is doing like donuts around all of them on his unicycle, telling them to stop it. Like, put them down. Desmond, they're trying to catch you. They just can't because this is kind of incredible, especially as you're now drifting now. <laughs> um, <laughs> give me persuasion with advantage, uh, Desmond. Hey, they don't want to get with the back handle because he out here getting it in. <laughs> is it 23? Uh, you... Uriah, Nahara, and Piddlewick, the kids that are playing with you are very much captivated by Desmond, and you all are kind of able to, like, wriggle away and <laughs> ride as they as they do kind of, like, again, in vain, really try and catch up Desmond and kind of, like, run out of breath, and you all are able to get away. You finally come to what um, uh, was probably the temple at one time here. Um, but you can see there all around it are piled up uh, accoutrements from adults. There's walking sticks, canes, lots of weapons, enough weapons that you could equip a, a small army, just swords and, and axes and things just kind of like strewn about. Um, there's uh, older dresses and things that are kind of like hung along the walls. And this is the one building that doesn't have anything drawn on it, but feels very spooky like inside it is like very dark inside and there is a very poorly drawn uh handwritten picture of a doll with some pins in it uh that has been kind of like tucked outside that's my spell the clothes Yes, um, though I have had a thought. Um, uh, in uh, this thing of uh, putting pins into dolls, aren't we dolls? Are we the dolls that they're going to put the pins in? Is it some kind of ironic thing where? <laughs> no, oh, you are. Wait a second, buddy. Wait a second. Uh, and Maligno comes walking from around uh, the temple again. He's like, my boy. <laughs> That's my boy. It's like, it's like me and this guy. We were like car from the same block. That's oh a, my god, we're like two knots from the same that, tree. That just, I love this guy. I love it. Hey, no, um, Uriah, I I assure you that you probably are not going to get stabbed with a pin in there, most likely. And the odds are at best 50 50. Uh, that's not very that good odds. That's uh, the best odds we've ever faced. Okay. See, yeah, I mean, if you were to go to a chance house 50 50, you could get rich like that. So you're telling me 
I came here looking to do some voodoo on somebody else, and you're telling me there's a 50-50 chance that I'm going to get stuck with pins? But what if you getting stuck with a pin still voodooed somebody else? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Hey, uh, you guys, you go have sign me up. Yeah. Where do yeah. I sign? Uh, no, do I gotta no, sign up for this? You just you just head on in. Uh, I, I sort of got a I got a situation I'm managing. Uh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh also, you know what else? No pins getting stuck in your meat suits. Yeah. So there you go. There's that. All right, didn't even think wait, about wait, that. Wait, wait. What do you know about our meat suits? Yeah. What do you know about our meat suits? Yeah, yeah, Piddlewick. Boy. Love you. Love you, pal. Love you, boy. Love you, my boy. That's my boy. That's my boy. <laughs> okay, yeah, about your meat suits. Yeah, don't worry about it. They're just, and then he vanishes right in front of you. So much growing out in this episode. I don't know. So this is heavy. It's a hefty bro down right now. Oh, nah, that's my boy. It, it's a bachelor party. There's going, there's going to be a lot of that. There's going to be a lot of that, yes. Wow. Um, right. Lead on, Piddlewick. Let us go! As you all go into the temple, um, <clears throat> give me religion checks. I know this is normally Uriah's wheelhouse, but you never know what one of the, the rest of you might notice. Uh, that is a 19. 19. All right, Desmond. Oh, I'm sorry. What are we rolling? Religion. Religion. On the, on the off chance you might spot something. You're right. <laughs> you never oh, no. know. You, you've, been coming, uh, you've been coming hard with the 20s all day, so. When I had this advantage, so it didn't help me out much. Uh, uh, let's see. I, I, rolled, I rolled a whopping six. Yeah. On religion, again, the, that's that's uh, appropriate. You you you've yet to quite shake the jelly bean, uh, Nahara. Stuff uh, flat, babe. Uh, it's back, Nahara. As you look down, the stuff Seja is still with you. It is still stuck to you, even yeah. when, you, when you walked away from that scene. You still got the, the stuff Seja. Uh, Desmond on the religion. Not good enough because I didn't roll it. Uh, well. Um, Uriah, when, when you all come into this place, you can tell where everything else definitely has the vibe of not having been actively defiled. It's just if an entire town were unsupervised for a really long time, you know, it's not like the kids set out to break anything. They just break things. Um, in here, it's not like that. Uh, it hasn't been defiled at all, but you see a lot of it has just been covered up. There's just like tarps thrown over statues and things like that. There's still a lot of things um, for the adults. There's like a lot of pipes um, are, are in here. Uh, you can see um, tinctures and vials of what were probably medications. It's just like the things the kids knew they weren't supposed to touch have all kind of been moved in here. So there's not really a pattern to the stuff that's in here, except, you know, assorted don't touches, you know, are, are in here. Again, there's um a lot of uh, a lot of uh, knives, hunting implements. There's like bear traps in, in things in here. Uh, Uriah, you realize this was probably a temple of Sylvanus, uh, the, the nature god, the forest father, um, but it's mostly just dusty and unkempt in here and in the center of all of this uh there is a circle that has been drawn um on the ground uh in a lot of crayon over and over and over and there is a doll size shape that is covered in a black sheet that is just sitting on the other side of it that's um rather ominous piddlewick do you know who or what that is? What? The crayon circles? No, the, the figure there under the sheet. Oh, nope. Let's pull the sheet off and find out. No. Is this, no, what is this, like a fine. ritual sacrifice we walked into? I'm here to do voodoo. Oh. Voodoo, the voodoo. You do. You do. Me do what? Who would you like to voodoo? 
Oh, move first, move first. Can I do like a two for one special? Check it out, my voodoo. Piddlewick. Yes. Are these your friends? Yes. These are my friends. We've had many adventures together. Then yes, you can do two. <gasps> so, okay, so I want a voodoo doll of Aslan Rex, and I want a voodoo doll of Strat, please. Ooh, 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 are you going to do a love voodoo ritual? I've heard stories I'm gonna do about those two. I think there's kind of, there's a thing that is happening. There's a, oh no, there's a real tension there. There's, yeah, a, there's right, a real right, tension. Right. You, can, you, can yes. you can sense it. It's, it's really palpable. Uh, you see this um, this figure gets up and when they move, it doesn't look like they're a puppet moving. It is like the sheet just sort of floats across the room with this vague form that just sort of moves over these like piles of accoutrement and comes back with a wooden doll that is painted with very sharp eyebrows and fangs and a little suit on and another one with a red gown and an iron crown and very large eyes on it. They just sort of float over it and it's like laying on the ground. Now kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Azalyn Rex. Somewhere off in the distance. You feel a powerful welling of sentiment for Strahd von Zarovich and all the things you never quite got to tell him. What madness is this? <laughs> you know, you get just the tiniest glimpse. Piddlewick, could you give me that just that look one more time? Just <laughs> split second of that, Azalyn, just right in your consciousness. I see. I think it time I have a word with my pupil. Perfect. <laughs> it, Nahara, you feel like the dolls kind of like warm up a little bit. At least the Azalyn one does. Oh, they lock up. <laughs> uh, and you see this figure just sort of says, since you're a friend of Piddlewick, you only have to pay for one. Two for one, too. Awesome. Bogo! You got bogoed! <laughs> what's, um, what's the charge? You know... Please. Perhaps should have asked that um, before um, Probably. Well, I was just very excited. I understand. Let me look at you, um, and then they look at Piddlewick, and you hear they whisper in your ear, Piddlewick, like, <laughs> One happy day. You're charging me one happy day. Yes. Good price. Really good price, actually. What do you mean by one happy day? Am I not going to be able to remember that one happy day? Because I forget a lot of my days. That's the price. One happy day. Do I get to pick which one? Nope. Well, and she looks at, uh, at Uriah. My happiest day isn't here yet, so take which day you want. Oh, but... Oh, boy. Don't. Oh man! Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! Oh man! Can you believe that one? It's like walk right into it. I feel like you like, should write that one in the textbook. Would anyone else like to do any voodoo? Uriah does. I'm sure it's his bachelor party. No, I... bachelor party voodoo. It is, but I. PPV, man! I do not wish harm to others. But it doesn't have no. to be harm. Like, again, we, just, we, we just made love. Yeah, I'll just know them close. Potions, we can do happy things. We can do pleasant memories. We can make them forget stuff. We can make it rain frogs. Uh, I love frogs. 
What do you think I we see. get the rats for the rat races? How about a quad corn hat? Then if you quad corn hat, if you truly have add a corn to that hat, yeah. If you truly have the sort of power that you say you do, quad corn hat. Tell me, could you save Darkon? You know what, this guy's kind of a little bit of a skill. Oh man, you're telling Ooh, me I'm Look, it's, it's like my that. bachelor party, and what I want is, yes, for, for my home and those who dwell there to be safe. That's what I want. It's my bachelor party, and I, I've, I've made my request. He's on a whole jelly bean and everything. I don't a little, know. A little bit of a brownzilla, right? If I wasn't on a jelly bean, I wouldn't even enter into a bargain of this kind. But yes, oh. yes, it, it's so clear now. We can use this to, to save Darkon, to save it all. Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> yes, but you won't like the price. Oh. Um, can you tell me what the price is? Nope. But it's done. Okay. Your okay. bachelor well, party gift from us. Oh, I see. But I won't like the price. You know, if I wasn't on a jelly bean, I would probably be on the floor in a little ball weeping right now. But yeah. no. you can do another jelly bean. Yeah, oh, yes. A bunch of jelly beans. Jelly um, beans. And you see outside um, another marionette rolls up with like a little uh, um, wheelbarrow of jelly beans and just like comes right into the temple with it. And it's like, Ooh, you look like you need a blue one, buddy. Like, level out a little bit. <laughs> Very well. I assume it's a con roll. Yep. Or save, rather. Uh, that's a 10 on the die. And I think, so it's 11 total. Uriah. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to be using my new con, aren't I? Mm -hmm. Never mind. It's the same. It's also, it's still an 11. <laughs> Uriah. When you bite into it, the first thing you start to see is Ila look. Ila look how you saw it in Chlor. Ila look as a ruin. But you see as you stare at it, it's like, although Chlor was just a void, there was just blackness. It's like the sun rises again and the grass comes back. And even those undead that you saw in the necropolis, like kind of look down at their hands and they're people again. And they run and they hug each other and everybody is so relieved. And then you're back. Was that it? That worked? I saw it happen. I saw the destruction of Ilaluk undone. And I assume the restoration of the rest of Darkon from from the mists, but <laughs> the magic and especially the jelly beans are kind of symbolic, buddy. But I mean, it, but if you saw something good, that's probably good. Good. Yes. And yes. Even if it's just an, even if it's just an omen of, of what will come, then, then yes, it's possible. It, it's possible to, to undo it, undo the destruction that I saw, not just save what's left, but to restore what was destroyed. Wick, um, what will you be having? The same, the usual, a greasy staircase? Ah, yes, please. A greasy staircase mm. and a sucker to push it down. down you know, the, the old greasy staircase sounds so unsavory. They, it's so unsavory. You, see, you I haven't mean, tried. If you haven't tried a greasy staircase, my friend, you are missing out. I this, have not. Again, I have not. This form is still completely covered, but it leans into you, Piddlewick, and it says... Okay, so I didn't want to make it weird because everybody knows you're a legend, but I got something for you that I think you might really like. Better than a greasy staircase? I found that Rickton. Hmm. Yes, Van Rickton. 
better than a greasy staircase. You could try and greasy staircase Van Richten. I don't know. That guy's pretty old, though. Like, it may not work on him. But, I mean, if you just want to try and, like, we can make his pants itchy. We can make him go to the bathroom. Hold on. Are you throwing me a bogo right now? Your Piddlewick. Yes. Shut the F up, man. I'll take it. Uh, 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 Piddlewick, uh, please. Um, You have it in your power to, uh, uh, to not just do mischief, but uh, please, Dr. Van Richten, uh, I'm his biggest fan. Oh, well, look at the drum. Think about taking his body home with you. That's really rude. Look at him with him. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I'm not that kind oh, of fan. What if he I'm just not that kind of fan. Lightly broken on a greasy staircase. No, I don't. And, th- wait, and wait, wait, like- wait, wait. I've just realized you. That means Van Richten is. He's still alive. <gasps> I, I thought for sure that he, he was already old when we went into stasis and for so much time to have passed it, he's still alive. Hopefully uh, of course, not. I mean, that's uh, wonderful. Uh, he must have found magical means of extending his life or, or that's wonderful news. Till he gets to that staircase. Um, Piddlewick. No. Piddlewick. Yeah. Can, can we huddle up? Just hud- yeah. huddle up real quick. Huddle up. Huddle up. What's up? I'm here. What's up? What if we do something nice for Skinny Bones here, and then we push Van Richten down the greasy staircase? Something nice for a question. Can can I, I can I make an attempt to? Uh... I'm not even gonna make a roll for it. They are not subtle puppets. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna see. Does my observant feet that allows lip reading like allow puppet <laughs> lip flaps or like, can you read puppet lips? Puppet but I guess they're just not even trying to Or we're all like, we're all in the huddle. As, what is, why as, is previously, as previously established, puppet physics works here. So yes, you would be able to read those lips anyway. Very true. I would Very say. true. Yes. Anyway, um, I mean, uh, are you something gonna... nice for a guy at his bachelor party? Weird, but I'll do it. In Uriah, you do hear this. Um, you know, I'd be willing to forego the nice thing if I could just, the, the nice thing for me would be to leave Dr. Van Richten unmolested, if you don't mind. I won't molest him, I'm just That's going to push him down the stairs. Kind of no, I mean, I'm molesting him. Look, look, I just wow. mean don't like, no, do anything to him. Sexy, okay? don't, yeah, yes, don't I understand. Me, uh, it was a poor choice of words on my part, and I knew exactly who I was dealing with, so really the fault lies with me. So, please, don't do anything to Dr. Van Richten. But what if we just have a, a conversation with him by the <gasps> stairs. We can, no stairs, but maybe we can invite him to our wedding. Yes, yes, that's what I'd like to do. Invite Dr. Van Richten to the wedding, now that we know he's oh. alive. The wedding, yes. We could invite Van Richten to the wedding. A nice, a stairs-free wedding. I yes, just, it would be held well. in a bungalow. Uh, there One will be no level. stairs. Just- I mean, might as well invite anybody you want, I guess, huh? Sky's the limit. I know that. Well, Aslan and Rex is all over coming. Oh, Van Richten and Aslan and Rex, you've just invited everyone, huh? Um, we have to for some people. I thought you said we could invite whoever we wanted. So everyone fits, right? No. Yeah. Piddlewick? Yes. Piddlewick, that's. I mean, you're supposed to be bros, and I don't hear them inviting you. I mean, that's just, is that just because you're like, you're a bro? Oh, here, so Piddlewick, of course. Of course, Piddlewick, you're invited. Of course, you're invited. That's just a You're invited. Like, come on now. Like, what are you talking about? I, I mean, mean, it was only because, it was only because we know you're an entertainer, and we weren't sure if uh, we asked you to perform, if you'd feel insulted because... You, you, you want to be there as a guest, or if we invited you as a guest, you'd be, why didn't you book me to perform? So we we were waiting to oh. ask you which one you would prefer. We're giving you the choice. Do you want to be in the wedding, or do you want to like, attend and... Nice, know, nice attempt. Nice attempt at a save. Mm-hmm. Your saving throw was pretty good. Mm-hmm. I see right through it, but hey. Um, well, insulted if you didn't ask me to perform. All right, so we would we would love you to perform. We would be wonderful. You're renowned. You're renowned. Excellent. Um, and what about you with the incredible wolf hair? What uh, you gonna you gonna, gonna do some voodooing? I don't know yet. I'm still thinking about it. 
I mean, there's got to be somebody that you'd want to give itchy britches to, somebody you'd want to give bubble guts, somebody that you want to have heart eyes, somebody that you need a plus one for the wedding. Anything that you want is within our control. Oh, man, you could get that plus one. So I have to voodoo somebody if I want to get the plus one. I mean, have you seen yourself lately? I mean, I'm a boss. I don't know what you're talking about. Who would I voodoo if I could voodoo anybody that I could voodoo? Oh, uh, Desmond, you, you can do something beneficial, too. At least uh, that's what they said I could do. Although Ooh. apparently I won't like the price, so there's that as well. That's boring. They didn't, they, I remember they said they, they wouldn't tell us the price, and they said it's just, we wouldn't like it. Well, he wouldn't like the price. Nahara gave up one good day. One good day? Yeah. How many, you get so many days in a lifetime. I don't know why I am not actually told the price, and that doesn't seem fair, but that's <clears throat> very well. How big of a voodoo can we do? We could do the voodoo that you do so well. Yeah, okay. you're doing no the idea. voodoo. How big a idea. voodoo can you do? My voodoo. voodoo. That's and the question. You see the, the sheet kind of comes forward, and you feel hands on the side of your face, Desmond, that say, how big of a voodoo can you do? Oh, don't get it twisted. I can do the biggest voodoo. I can do the biggest voodoo that you've ever seen. Trust me. Believe me. No, I've seen I rock the voodoo. Yeah. So, my voodoo, I want my little brother Armand to become very important and very wealthy in whatever community he ends up in. That's got a noble up. It's wonderful, Desmond. Yeah. Yeah. Huddle, huddle up, huddle up, huddle up. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. This is supposed to be a happy occasion, right? Right. Yes. Do, do yes. we? Do we? It's let... a happy occasion for your riot because it's his bachelor party. Do we let him off the hook with this, or do we do the full ironic punishment? I mean, ironic punishment. I can have him flipped for it. He just said ironic punishment. No, no, uh, no, I, 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 I'm getting ironic punishments because I did something, I did something altruistic. And Desmond? Yes? Whatever you give up, your brother will receive. Oh, no. Get away, bring it in, bring it in, chest bump. Chest bump. Yeah! Yeah! You guys are really making me like, Love you, bro. No. This is my boy. You guys boy. are all making me reconsider my choices here. Like I was just kind of screwing around, and you guys are really making like tough choices. So, so I can't make him very wealthy because I don't. I'm broke. I don't have any money. Oh well, then nope. Mm. We mm. Howard, no. You are the rich, like monarch. Have we paid our prices yet? Like how did you? Are there any days you don't recall anymore? <laughs> I don't recall a lot of those. Yes, and I suppose, how would you know if there's a day that you don't know? remember? How would, yeah. Yeah. Wait, uh, do you remember our date? Do you remember our date? Do I remember, our d- do I remember our date? While you all are talking. <laughs> there's two dates I want to like specifically ask about, but go ahead. Outside, you hear, <laughs> and you see Nahara land in her dread form at the door. And she just looks down and she goes, <laughs> Hey, that's my fiance's meat suit. Meat suit! And her wings flap and she takes right back off into the sky. Why are you playing with our bodies? I feel like that should be, in, that should be payment enough. No, I feel so violated. Just, I did not consent. I'm just gonna do more crime. Don't yeah! worry about it. Wait a crime. minute, you're doing, that's payment. If you do a crime with our bodies, you have been paid with whatever crimes you're doing. The voodoo person looks at you and says, oh, I'm not the one doing crime, I'm doing voodoo. Uh, I don't oh, no. like it, I don't like it. Who is that, who is that in Nahara's meat suit right now? Who is in my body? Could be anyone, really. <sighs> Piddleck, they got a lot to learn about being dolls, don't they? Oh, other noobs. Yeah, it's a, it's a, I'll, I'll make it really simple for you. If you guys are here, then whoever was here is dead. Oh, so it's uh, this fellow is in my meat suit, and whoever 
that is, is in your meat suit, Tahara. And they, yeah. though they do kind of resemble us already. That's yeah. Hmm. Yeah. interesting. So who made the dolls that look like us? I mean, talk about that part. Yeah, that's, that's, no that's another part we can't talk about. I bet his name All is right. Bruno. I bet his name is Bruno. Could be, probably. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Could be Tom Hanks. Could be anyone. We don't see, know. You see the figure lean, Hanks. leans out and puts their hands over Piddlewick's ears or where Piddlewick's ears would be and says, we don't talk about the maker, Giuseppe. Oh. And then takes um, our hands away and it's like, we just don't, there's just some things we just don't talk about. We just don't talk about just, it. Just don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. You know, it's, it, you should don't take your mind it. off crime. The voodoo's done. You should go rat race or something. I'm rat sure. Rat races, yes. Yeah, I'm sure your meat suits are going to be fine and do minimal life altering, uh, <laughs> reputation endangering activities. Oh, how does not? How does yes. not? Can I get a head off that jelly bean? <laughs> oh, see? There's a whole, there's a whole cart full of them. You don't have to Yeah, but like, yeah. this one's green. She has pink. She wants to try the green one. Well, I gotta, I I gotta, I'm, I'm now, okay. I'm now questioning my love choices. I gotta, I gotta take the edge off. This is very mellow, interesting. Take, take a, take a hit of that jelly bean and give me another con save. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Which one's that one? The green one? <laughs> I rolled an 18. Nahara, you see, for a split second there, you see what you kind of instinctively understand is through your own eyes, your actual eyes, your, your own meat suit flying through the air uh, very happily. You hear your own voice like laughing. And up ahead, you see a uh, a caravan. It looks like a, a a merchant caravan, and there's symbols written on the side of it uh, that you don't know, uh, but they very clearly look important. And you look down to the left, and you see Desmond running through the woods, kind of carrying Uriah. And Desmond looks up and gives you a big thumbs up. And you hear your voice laughing and start shooting Eldritch Blast down at this caravan. <laughs> as Uriah and Desmond explode out and start attacking this. And as you see your bodies being used very much to commit basically a war crime. This seems like a great place for us to take a little break. So we're going to do a quick 10. Don't go nowheres.
welcome back. Yes, you, Nahara, you snap out of this vision. You are back here in the temple. Uh, you see there is still the doll-shaped person uh, that is completely covered in black cloth. Uh, looks up and says, well, I think our business is done here, yeah? Uh, I'm I'm ready to go if you are. As I drop this voice for the audience, because uh, it's a lot. <laughs> a little hard on the vocals. Yep. A little bit. You lasted way longer than me. Thank you, thank you for your service. <laughs> I'm a mia voce, mia voce. I must preserve. Yes, preserve yes, Wait, I can do this one. Voice. This one is fine. Yeah. Oh, are we up to singers now? No, we're not. <laughs> we're not doing that's that's another episode. Sure. <laughs> Save something for the sequel. Yep. Uh, Nahara, are you going to share with them what it is that you've witnessed? Uh, absolutely in minute detail. In fact, if I'm able to, you said if, it, if I, I recognize the symbol on the caravan. I said you but didn't recognize the symbol. I didn't recognize they, they, the symbol, but I saw a symbol. Yep. Yeah, if I, even if I don't know what the symbol was, am I able to like draw it out to be like, oh, I don't know what this is, but this was on the caravan? Um, yes. It looks like, um, it looks like an eye, but the pupil in the middle is arms holding a baby. If that, if you, if you can imagine that being in the middle, arms holding a baby, but it's an uh, like an eye, is the symbol. Does anyone? Oh, do you, interesting. Have you seen, so, have you seen it before? So what you're saying is someone is using our meat suits to uh, pull off a caravan heist. Apparently, I don't know what who these people are. Wait, wait, was the was the caravan uh, manned by children or adults? It was definitely adults. You only saw a glimpse of it, basically, like as the attack run was starting, essentially. Uh, but yeah, there were there were there were people, uh, you know, at the at the head of the carriages, like um, uh, with the reining in the horses and things. So, is. You so were there kind are of from all sides. There are adults here. I s not. I mean, in the outskirts of wherever they have our meat suits, yes. Yes. Well, I mean, we just saw yours. Um, you, we, we saw your meat suit, yes. And so uh, you're quite fast, but you couldn't have gotten that far in that amount of time. Yes, but what are we supposed to do with in these? Yes. We're going to go to the question. rat races. Right. Rat races. I think it's imperative that we complete all of these activities so we can get back to our meat suits and stop this crime wave that they're committing. Yes. Hmm. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to bring a blue jelly bean and feed it to my rat before I race it. Do the rats eat jelly beans? And jelly beans. Rats <sighs> eat everything. I feel like that's a great idea to, you know, finish whatever we have here and get our bodies back. And I just immediately wondered. Will we remember in our bodies the things they're doing and who they're taking stuff from? I don't know. No. I'm apparently going to forget a very happy day. We'll find out soon enough. Let's go do it. Uh, a, one point of clarification before you go. Mm -hmm. I never said you'd forget a happy day. I said it would cost you a happy day. Yep. Anyway, bye. Me? And the sheet just falls to the floor. Oh, does that mean a day that was going to be a happy day will not be a happy day? You gave How does up it be? a happy day from your life. But I don't understand what that means, so if well, I'm able to remember. You shouldn't have agreed to do it, should you have? Well, I'm squeezed to eating a jelly bean. What do you expect me to do? I That's mean, pretty rude. They get you high and then give you, like, life stakes type. Uh, I did less like, than voodoo, man. You don't get voodoo for free. I did you make Azalin and Strahd free. make out, though. I know, yes, but wow. I, mean, okay, I don't think that's the first time that's happened, it, to be honest. I don't think so either. You know? Maybe it'll be like your third birthday party. Or maybe it'll be like the day before you die. Who knows? Who knows? Which it time? You it always that. makes it'll its wait. way out of the temple, heading towards the rat races. Uh, do you all follow? Yes, yes, I, th I think it's imperative that we finish all of these uh, assigned tasks and then we can say we've had a wonderful time, put us back in our meat suits, and we'll be on our way. Agreed. Hmm. As you all make oh, your way, uh, 
Piddlewick, do you bring the uh, the the wheelbarrow of jelly beans with you as you're walking? Oh yes. Yeah. Squeak, uh, squeak, squeak, squeak. Oh yeah. There's some there's some uh, stripy ones in there. You know, like there's uh there's there's those red and white ones, Piddlewick, that they only roll oh. out for like special occasions. Oh, I love those ones. You're right. You should get in on these red and white ones, man. Um, well, um, I mean, um, you I, yes, I guess, here you go. I've, well, Girl, yeah, can't save you I right think, here. yeah, because because he's got the flappy head. So when he says, I don't know, it just goes in. All right. So this is a con save. Mm-hmm. I haven't made one of these yet. This will be another one that I don't make because that is a total of eight. Uriah, you bite into this um, red and white striped jelly bean. And you see Rivalis. You see old Broadfoot, but he looks impossibly old. Um, Halflings uh, live longer than people, but not as long as some other races. Uh, And he is very, very worn, and there's tufts of gray coming out of his ears, but he is very... um, slowly uh, applying uh, some marinade to that uh, the ground spit me, um, that he makes that, that you love so much. And he's just sort of mumbling to himself, saying, like, the wedding won't, won't be long. I just have to make sure everything's perfect for my boy on his big day. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, 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 um, Ernie. You see, you see he looks up. Kind of like he heard something, and he sort of like looks both ways, and he goes like, "He hears him playing tricks on me. I'm getting old." Can you hear me? Getting old, Ernie. It's almost like I hear somebody talking to me. (laughs) It's good to see you. I'm happy you're still with us. You've been away so long. You do see um, back in your in uh, in your home village there uh, the beginnings of wedding preparation. You can see where lots of flowers have been picked. Um, till uh, people are beginning to weave them into like beautiful wreaths. Uh, you can see the beginnings of what is probably going to be a bouquet. Um, they are starting this, wedding prep. Is this for? Is this for us? Is this for Nahara and I? But, but how would they know? We've been away so long. And Liflis, yes, I'd, and then it's gone. I'd love to. You're back here at the town, and you all hear Jirai just say out loud, "Yes, Rivalis." We'll, we'll be married in Rivalis. Did did you all see that? Did the rest of you see Rivalis? You did or not. Foot? You saw what Nahara saw. In fact, it came there. But this, you did not. Well, that's that's wonderful, right? Are you? Yes. You seem. I just. It's been so long. Old Broadfoot. He's very old indeed now. It's good to see Rivalis in one piece. Certainly it's faring better than other parts of Dark Holland. Well, that should be comforting, yes? Yes. Still, I'm not quite sure how they knew. They're preparing for a wedding, and as far as they know, we haven't been seen in decades, and certainly, I don't know how word would have reached them. Well, unless who have we invited so far, Granny? Uh, Aslan uh, Rex. Aslan. Whoops. And my uncle. And your uncle. And people oh, think, of told course. them to bring Armand here. Hmm. Uh, Veronica. Yes. Yeah. I suppose the likely sus- subject. Yeah, suspect. we should probably not invite our mom. Um, well, he's all right now, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Ish. Mm-hmm. So like, it's awkward seeing. He was a vampire for like 50 years. I mean, I, to be honest, I, I, I don't actually know him that well. Yes, I'm sorry. I, I don't do that. Yeah, I mean, if you if you want to bring him as your plus one, of course. Of you course. Oh, no, no, we would never say no. Here, like that we literally just left from that being a not nice situation. With Veronica being a little upset with him before, yeah. you know. You know, it would be very awkward if he yeah. and Veronica both. Yes. yes. No, I, but I, I would leave that judgment up to you, Desmond. Piddlewick. Um, yes. 
you would know because you did spend time with Armand at the castle uh, that on his wedding night, his wife was killed and he was swept into the mist. So, yeah, no. Oh, Armand. Not, 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 a, not a great idea. No. No. I'm a god wife. Yes. Into the mists. Some might say she gave up a good day. <gasps> Some Wait, might is that what's going to happen? What? what? Is that, uh, are you saying that that's what- Is that what happened? Did you put words in my little mouth? Mm -hmm. well, no, you put those words in your mouth. I girl. was under the absolute, I asked quite, I asked this specifically if this would be a future day or a past day. And what was the answer specifically again? Oh, no. I think no, they were no, a bit no, evasive, no, no. actually. I don't think they actually answered that question. No, we just, didn't we? we? We just kind of moved on. And we sort of high-fived and said, can't believe she walked right into that one. You Next book. are going to believe that I'm going to play this back and find out what they exactly said. <laughs> you want to get yeah. in on these rat races, buddy? Yeah, we're coming, baby! Right, rat races. Okay, we'll do the rat races and then meat suits and then we're, we're back home. Uh, as you all head towards the rat races, um, there is actually uh, a child uh, that is there. Uh, although, again, they, they're they probably only seven or eight years old, but they're, they're a corn-fed country child, so they still stand about five foot, probably 85 pounds, which is monstrously huge compared to you all, mm -hmm. and just says, well, hello, are you all going to be riding the rats or just wagering on the rats? Um, well, uh, here's the thing. Uh, what, what is it that we Riding. Major? Oh. Riding. I, I already know. We got lightning set up for you over there, Piddlewick. And also, uh, slipped her some jelly bean for you there, buddy. You know, put a little little pep in her tail there, a little, little twist up in her turbos, you know? I brought another one, too. Let's I can't really get her out. <laughs> I don't even know if she's going to be able to see straight if you give her another jelly bean. <laughs> I got one on I just God, love you, man. I love you, man. I'm going to race one of these rats. Um, yes, I, I suppose I shall as well, uh, and, because it's my bachelor party. And Tiraya and Nahara very much grabs him by the collar and pulls him in really intensely. <laughs> if anybody ruins our day, I will become the darkest of dark lords and I will decimate all of the lands. Do you hear me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I, I, I do not doubt you. You see, as Nahara says that, Every single one of the dolls, and there's about one doll for every three to five kids. Every single one of the dolls stops and just rotates towards Nahara while she says that and just stare. The kids pay no attention whatsoever. Hmm. Hmm. That's uh, mm -hmm. ominous. That's ominous. And I will gently put a hand on Uriah's chest and push him back. When you do, as you go, were, they go back to what they were doing, you know, doing <laughs> doll stuff. Uh, Desmond, are you riding a rat or wagering on a rat? I will ride a rat. So, these rats, as you look at them, they are giant rats, not just because you're small. They're actually giant rats. Uh, so they're about the size of medium-sized dogs, uh, which makes them pretty mm -hmm. easily rideable. They're clearly, they're, they're, they're very well fed, but they're probably better kept than the children. It's like clear to you that somebody's <laughs> taking the time to like brush their coats and things. Um, but each of them have been decorated in various ways. Tell me what your rats look like, the rats that you choose. Uh, Uriah's rat has clearly been prepared for him because it is wearing a small tricorn hat. They were like, that. I guess a large tricorn hat from his point of view. They were like, we knew that that was uh you you special ordered that one, Piddlewick. He you were you were dead on. You were I know it. I oh, this party, man. It just I, <laughs> I assume this one's mine. This you one have no one idea how hard it was to get him on that rat. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, well, thank you for going to the trouble. I'll uh, I'll take this one then. <clears throat> it does have um, a, a, a a saddle on it and everything. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Nahara's rat is this like little albino rat with like red eyes and like white fur and it's got a little pink bow beside each ear <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think this one's mine 
you notice as you get close to it, kind of on its like um, uh, what would be oh I guess its shoulder. It has shoulders. Uh, there is a little stuffed sedge stuck to it. <laughs> oh, this one is mine. Mm -hmm. It very much just like starts nuzzling you right when you come up to it. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what does Desmond's look like? Desmond's rat is brolic. It it looks more like a hybrid of a rat and a wolf <laughs> than should be possible <laughs> for a rat. It's a dire, it's, it's, it's a young dire it's a rat. But basically it like yo can it's just yo it's just like <laughs> Desmond walks up and it's just like <clears throat> yeah <laughs> a, 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 a young diorite essentially mm -hmm. it's, it's about 20 percent larger than the others though and and what is what is Piddlewick's uh juice right it's lightning like? baby yeah. all right lightning so she's all slick she's pure black and she is slicked down with oil and she's got <laughs> Yellow eyes glowing with yellow electricity, and she's got a lightning bolt shaved on either side of her. He's a, the rat is practically vibrating on the jelly beans as Piddlewick gets close to it. Oh, uh, come on, lightning. That's my girl. You're my girl. And you see the kid jumps back, and he's like, all right, this is how we going to do it. We just going to do things. Three quick revolutions around the town, winner take all. Anybody got any questions? So many. Go! And here's, ah, <laughs> here's how we're going to do this. Oh, no. Just a pure, just roll. Just a straight up roll. We're going to do it three times. Just roll a d20. D20? Just mm -hmm. straight roll? Okay, here Middle we go. Bit, do you have dice handy, or would you like me to roll? I do, I do. All right. If you get a natural 20, that will count as two. If Damn. you get a one, it will count as zero. Oh, man. I rolled an yeah. 11. Okay. I got 11. 15. I got 15. Oh, are we supposed to just do the... I, I rolled just all a, three. Just Oh, no, just one at a time. Okay, all right. So my first roll was a seven. Seven? I got a five. All right, so I believe that was 15 from Piddlewick is the highest. Lightning yes! explodes out of the gates again, <laughs> completely juiced up on jelly beans. Uh, the, the first lap goes to Piddlewick. Uh, what again? Roll, just pure roll. 16. Oh man, a nat 20. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, man. I, I thought I was doing it with a 17 that round. Damn. I, did, just, I thought I did better, too. I, I did oh, say man. that a 20 would count as two, and you were only going for three. So, Piddlewick, describe oh, to man. me how you just absolutely <laughs> dust them. <laughs> the lightning, when the, blue, when the blue jelly bean kicks in, yellow lightning shoots out of lightning the rats. Rear end. Asteria, <laughs> flying her tail, but accelerating her with such force that her slickened black fur has melts off, of, burns off like a like a, a meteor coming through the atmosphere. And you see when Piddlewick stops. Recall, Piddlewick is actually made out of metal. So he's also glowing red. Like you realize if one of you had been riding this red, you might not have survived it uh, as he stops and everybody starts cheering and going crazy. And they actually are cheering way more than you think they would even for a rat race. And at first they're like, yay, Piddlewick, Piddlewick. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. Look at that. Hey, crime. Yeah. And you all Run. see across the way those caravans that you saw is being pulled into the center of the village. You see Desmond in his lycanthrope form, just like lashed to the front of them and pulling them in. And kids descend on these things and crack it open and start pulling things out of it and just kind of like tossing it left and right to each other. And you see oh. um, Maligno is sitting on the front of it like uh like he's holding the reins uh, that are attached to Des uh, attached to desmond and he's like yes once again i provide yes come partake of the bounty that we have liberated from tempest they've always got the sweetest candies over there a boy my boy you 
should have seen this rat race I just killed. I did see the rat race. There. Shout out to Lightning. Hey, 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 hey. Um, I pit away, pit away. I, <clears throat> I got this one special for you. And you see he pulls up a wicker doll that is very intricately made uh, and covered in flowers with like a little flower wreath. Like Uriah, you don't necessarily know the significance, but it clearly was ceremonial and hands it out to Piddlewick. And he says, that's for uh, you, my bro. That's for you. You are the best. No, you're the best. I love you, my bro. You, my bro. I love you, Maligno. Ah, uh, uh, Maligno. Uh, so good to see you. Uh, Piddlewick has uh, shown us a wonderful time. We've done all the activities on the list, and I think we're ready to uh, reclaim our meat suits. I'm glad that they came in handy for you doing some crimes, but uh, we'll just yes. uh, collect them and we'll uh, we'll go now. You see your your body, Uriah, kind of hops off of one of these and picks up his uh, mace, and you can see it is covered in blood. Oh. <gasps> Uh, 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 and you see the Desmond in the lycanthrope form goes. Um, uh, uh, yeah, uh, that's uh, not uh, caramel. Uh, uh, mm, no, uh, and you see the Nahara turns and looks at you again, Nahara, and she goes, "You're quite fearsome, I have to say. This is like I, I like, I like all of this. Like you see." The, is yes, I like it too very much. I very much like it back. Uh, oh, oh, you got a little, you got a little, um, and she got, uh, and she. Oh, no, 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 no. She absolutely wipes her thumb across your face. But when she does, uh, she prestidigitates you so that you are clean. Oh. It's like, hmm, hmm. Oh. So much power. I love it. Right. Well, uh, thank you for breaking in my mace, uh, whoever you are. It had never been swung even once in anger before today. And yeah, uh, it now it's like showroom new. It was all shiny. And then I was just like, mm. and you see, you very much start swinging it mere inches from the heads of some of the other kids who just like duck down and stuff. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm actually surprised since you were, you were using my body to wield it, that you had any success at all. But uh, here we are. Um, Arm is kind of sore. Is that yeah, my you, arms. You, I'm, well, I suppose that's going to be my problem now. Uh, so, I know, we think of a good workout you just got. Yeah, mm -hmm. You didn't have to put in the work. It's absolutely, yeah. And Lemonade we, out of lemons. And we made sure that there probably weren't any survivors, so nobody's going to know that you guys did this anyway. Yeah, I've so, seen that. So you, uh, you visited another land, the... That no, makes sense. These people were on the way to Tempest. Uh, we, we, you know, it gets a little hazy near the border. Um, but you know, we. Uh, Tempest. Yeah. Yes. Tempest. Uh, yes. Uriah. Uh, Uriah, that's why Granny said we should honeymoon. What in Tempest? Uh, but it's it's. I mean, oh, I suppose. I suppose it does make sense that Granny would recommend Tethys, but... Uh, you all see the stuff they're pulling out of this all look like things for uh, a festival. Um, there are a lot of vegetables, which the kids very quickly are just throwing away. But there are a lot of uh, pies, fruits, um, like streamers and stuff. Um, and many, several of these smaller dolls that all have that eye with the arms holding a baby um, just sort of painted on them. And you know they some of them kind of grab the dolls and play with them, um, and just are basically like looting this place. And you see Maligno just goes, "Yeah, well, you know, I mean, they might get mad, but what are they gonna do? You know, what 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 are they what are they gonna Piddlewick, What are they gonna do? Piddlewick, What are they? Gonna I, can't, do? I can't get mad anymore. <laughs> right? You know? <laughs> hey, hey, hey! And if they try and come here and start something with it, I got the three of them. Look at the three of them. And you see, like, the Desmond Lycanthrope does make a point to, like, flex and, like, goes over to the cart and, like, picks the cart up. And all the children are like, ah! yeah! I would once again like to say that I do not consent to any of this. Well, that's where it gets a little sticky because, you know, grown-ups don't really have any say how things get done around here mm. uh, of course yes uh you make the rules you are the lord of this place uh, but i wonder and uriah turns to his body mm. might i ask your name oh 
been a long time since anybody asked my name. Uh, guess you could just call me Hatpin. Hatpin? Wait, wait, well, no, no, no. Wait, you guys, I get a name. All right, um, <clears throat> uh, call me, call me. And he looks right at Piddlewick and he says, call me Candlewick. Uh, Candlewick. It's a bit of an homage, I suppose. Um, tell me, Candlewick, um, you have, uh, full access to my abilities while you're in my body, do you? Uh, yeah. He turns your halo on and starts mm. blowing right Oh, there. wonderful. Access. Wonderful. I, I wonder if you've, um, if you've employed one of my most special abilities. Uh. I cannot do yes, it. it's the most, it's the most glorious one. And, and, like, why are you been keeping this from me? He gets down on his hands and knees and like crawls towards you and it's like, Piddlewick, Piddlewick, he's going to tell me the most special ability. I can't wait to what yes. it is. You see, it's the most special ability. you see, my powers flow from the Raven Queen. I knew her as Ezra first, but I discovered that she is so much more. If you try very hard indeed, I bet you could reach out to her with your mind. And he basically instructs Candlewick on how to cast a commune spell. Commune now, or... You, uh, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. uh, which is... Mm -hmm. Hold on. Let me look it up. Make sure I'm saying the right one. It's about to say commune or divine intervention? <laughs> no, because divi divine intervention is is like... Even at this level, it's like a 15%, 15% chance. Yep. Mm -hmm. But this is the one that allows you to actually just make contact with your deity. Mm -hmm. Now, I am thinking that, the okay, this is the gambit, mm -hmm. <laughs> that this flow of divine energy has kind of been automatic and the Raven Queen isn't necessarily monitoring to see whose spells, who's casting these spells. But a commune spell would be like a direct contact with the Raven Queen. So wait, 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 wait. Yes, wait, I'm here. Wait. Yes, yes, yes. You, you, you know, um, you know how like um, we'll knock on people's doors and then we run away really fast before they come yes, to the door. Yes, I'm just, yes. I'm gonna do that to the Raven Queen. I'm gonna be like, the Raven Queen. Queen. Oh, 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 yes, that will be a good prank. She'll love that. She'll yes. love that. Yes, okay. she probably won't investigate any yeah. further once that. Bring happens. it a few times as though it's an emergency. Yeah. Okay. But, <clears throat> hey, everybody. Shh, 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 shh. Be cool. I'm gonna talk to the Raven Queen. Shh, shh, shh. Shh, 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 shh. Meanwhile, Raven Queen. <laughs> You are aware that someone is reaching out to you. Someone masquerading as Uriah. That is not Uriah. <coughs> uh, uh, excuse me. Um, please help, help, help me, Raven Queen. Uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm so meek and pitiful, and my arms can barely swing my, my mace. <laughs> what the fresh hell is this, child? Um, we, we are, um, <clears throat> speak. Is, is, is your, um, <clears throat> cauldron running? My cauldron. <laughs> you should probably go catch it. Let me. <laughs> go, go, run, run. <laughs> Raven Queen, you're aware that they're trying to get away from you, but it's up to you when this call ends. I wouldn't try to try to like grasp this being in, you and are pull him in very close to me. A god. You are aware that it's wearing Uriah's face, but it's not Uriah. You you know exactly what this is. That it it's a carrionette. It's a puppet that has taken his body. What is your name, child? And do not tell me Uriah because I know it isn't him. Kendallwick. Kendallwick. Mm -hmm. Kendallwick. If you do not wish to be kindled to my fire, then you will return this body to its proper owner. Do you understand me? 
yep, I got it. I got it. I got it. You will do this. And if there's anything else that is going to upset me, you will be sure to rectify this situation and tell the others, or else I will also have to intervene. Could I just ask one question? Make it quick. You met IP freely. <laughs> and I want to just crush that esophagus just ever so slightly. Uriah, puppet Uriah, actual Uriah. As your meat suit is giggling but begins to cough a little bit, you start feeling your throat close up too. Oh. Can, do I enter the commune spell? You know, Raven Queen, you're a goddess. Do you, if you're immediately aware of where the actual Uriah is, if you wish to be. Uriah, what is going on here? Please explain this to me. Oh, my lady, uh, we find ourselves in dire straits. Our bodies have been taken by these um, things. Uh, is there any way you might restore me, restore the others? Yes. Thank you, lady. And this candlewick is grounded. And I drop him. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Uriah, uh, you feel the Raven Queen's presence depart. And uh, you're back in your body and you see the little puppet, you get up and say, wait, have you met Hugh Jazz? <laughs> oh, 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 man. Uriah, you are back in your body. Nahara and Desmond are not. Mm. Huh. And what? Maligno looks and goes, hey. Mm. What the heck, man? <laughs> Me next! Um, Me next, what did you do? Maligno, uh, thank you so very much for the wonderful gift that you've bestowed on us. But as mentioned, we do have a wedding to plan. And so uh, if possible, uh, if uh, Nahara and Desmond might be returned to their own forms. Um, Uriah, give me... Um, Give me an Arcana check. Arcana? Oh, this is going to be almost a straight roll. Maligno wall. leans forward and he's like, well, I think you just realized there's some connection between you and the puppet. Like, she started choking him, the puppet almost got it, and if the puppet gets it, the other person gets it, and it'd be a real shame if something were to happen to him, and he snaps his fingers, and some of the other carionettes put what looked like hat pins but at the size of short swords to puppet Desmond and Nahara's throats. It, it would be quite a shame. You are correct. And uh, so for that arcana, arcana roll, since I'm back in my body, can I give myself guidance on that? Yes. Yeah, so it's basically just holding his holy symbol as he mm. makes this arcana roll. Because I'm not with, great at that. with advantage, because you just had the hand of your goddess upon you also. Okay, all right. So, uh... So, okay, let's see which one is better. Great. And then I can add, it's a 1d4 for guidance, yes? Piddlewick. Okay, you so see, that's good. Maligno looks at you and he goes, hey, I'm not trying to, like, harsh this guy's mellow on his bachelor party, but, I mean, come on, I got a werewolf, I got, like, a killer angel. Like, I mean, come on, look at the, think of all the crime we could do, Piddlewick. Yeah, uh, but these are my friends. Your friends? That's what, oh, that's very sweet of you, Piddlewick. I appreciate that. Yeah, but they're your friends, but we're bros, Piddlewick. I know, but this was just for a party. And with a needle to her neck, she's like, tell them we're bros, too. Tell them we're bros. Tell them we're bros. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's my uh, girl right there. That's my girl. That's my so, girl right there. <laughs> so with advantage and the, and the plus, uh, it's a grand total of 17 on that Arcana roll. Um, you realize... Uh, that what um, what he said to you is true. If someone harms the doll body, it will hurt the human body and vice versa. But you also know it's relatively easy to break. A, a spell as simple as protection from evil and good 
will um, force them to swap back again. Oh, well it's, then... It's not particularly powerful magic. It works better when you're defenseless against it, and then it's hard to get out of. Very well. So if it... So even a protection from evil and good would take it down. If it would a uh, dispel magic be able to cast catch both of them in its uh, area of effect, or I can uh, cast dispel evil and good as well, which is higher level. It's fifth level. Um, can dispel hit multiple targets. Hold on. Uh, I think dispel magic can. Let me just check. Protection is just one. Protection is just one. Mm -hmm. I think. Let me just double check that. If Dispel can hit multiple targets, it would work because it's a higher level effect. Um, no, it's but uh, for Dispel Magic, it's one creature, object, or magical effect. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, so, okay. Obviously, uh, you know, no offense to Desmond, and even though it might make more sense to free Desmond first to get that werewolf out of their clutches, Uriah would have no choice. He'd free Nahara first. Oh, So uh, no taken. We, D Desmond understands. <laughs> so uh, this, and you say either dispel magic or dispel evil and good will work? Uh, yeah, a, a protection even would work. Uh, the oh, low, okay, well the then, yeah. Level, let's, the lower level spell will do it. However... Then let's just use a low level spell well, slot. Then. Well, if you're going to do this, though, some something, something else is going to happen in between. Um, okay. you cast this protection from evil and good, and Nahara, you do feel this whiplash to being back in your own body, and immediately just feel really gross. Like this puppet you was eating a lot of terrible things, and you don't really <laughs> eat anymore. So Ugh. yeah, this. Yeah, there's there's going to be an accounting for for that to come later, but Malikno right. looks out at you all and he goes, "Oh, Petalwick, I mean, what? Gotta mess him up!" And he snaps his fingers, and Desmond, in his lupine form, pounces on Uriah. Uh, Very what, well. What is your AC? Uh, it is nineteen, but it can be higher if need be. Uh, Don't like, say, just throwing say, it out there. Say he's going to hit, so uh, you tell me if you're going to put the shield up or not. Yeah, the shield goes up. <laughs> okay. Uh, which makes it what now? Uh, it's plus five with the shield spell, right? So that gets you to 24? 24. 24. Uh, he might not be enough. also got 24. You see Dang. Desmond's uh, jaws coming near you, and the shield comes up and just <laughs> bites through. Um, gotcha. Or 14 piercing or 13 piercing and 14 necrotic. Uh, give 14. me a con save, Uriah. Uh, that is a total of 19. That's one you needed to pass because you feel the heat of the curse of lycanthropy beginning oh, to flow oh, right. into your veins. <laughs> but you do, the one con save you save is the one that you need to. Um, before we enter pure initiative, I'm just basically going to give you all one chance to react. Because Nahara, you are back in your body. You have your full power. Uh, some of your spell slots have been expended, but I mean, I won't get so minute as that. But you see Desmond pounces on um, Uriah right in front of you. And you see Maligno is up on the cart pointing, make, tell, yelling everybody to make this happen. Also, Piddlewick, after this, I'm gonna give you a chance to do something too, if you wish. Excellent. I will take it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was just seeing if I have this ready for, the yes, I do. Okay. I am going to uh, fly over Desmond mm -hmm. um, and um, use remove curse to see if that works and puts him back in his body. Um, oh, no. I'm, I'm, what, yeah, uh, what, what I'm what I'm gonna give you, Nahara, is since Uriah used a spell on you that technically you know, I'm going to say you know he used protection from evil and good on you. I don't have that one though. <laughs> give me uh, Arcana with advantage. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As you hear the little doll. Please no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is a 29. 
you pretty sure you would cure his lycanthropy not even if you even if you did reverse whatever's been done you might reverse that as well oh i don't want to take that away from you <laughs> um so i think what i'm going to do is um if he is heading toward is he heading towards your eye or does he have your eye already i mean he he is on him like pounced on him and is, ah. You see the shield came up and stopped one of the bites, but the second one just bit down on him. Okay. I want to fly over Uriah and cast invisibility on him. On Uriah? Yeah. Okay. You, Uriah, you see this um, lycanthrope Desmond bites down on you and pulls his head back and says... What's a bachelor party if you don't end up feeling hurt afterwards, right? <laughs> and he disappears. That's not a saying. That's not a saying. <laughs> and you do vanish, and you see it looks confused because you should be right there. Uh, Piddlewick, what would you like to do? Oh, man. Uh, cheer them on. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a Piddlewick move. Oh, question was i or because you had mentioned that nahara was in form of dread yeah is she still in form of dread uh, so am turned, i in store she, she had turned back before she came into town otherwise she scare all the children all right i guess i'll have to do that on the next turn because since mm -hmm. i did not okay desmond you are in the yeah. puppet body what if anything would you like to do i want to run up and grab the ankle of my own body in the hopes that touching myself or do something magical because I can't do anything magical right now for some silly reason. So, because I'm a doll. First, you have to attack. What if I don't want to attack? You need to what attack. What if I want to hug me? What if I want to hug me? Like, I want to attack me with a hug. <laughs> mm. Come and cuddle. Um. Ooh. You know. Ooh. I want a silver needle attack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. My attack roll is 18. I'm trying to figure out what do I need to add to that just in case. Four. Yeah, four, four to it. 22 to hit. Um, that is enough uh, to hit as you stab the needle into your own ankle, which you realize you're going to feel soon. Uh, the Lupine U has failed to save against the curse. Um, and... See if you can do this right now. If you have to do. It oh yeah, and carionettes have silver needles, don't they? They do have silver needles. So this works hurt, out. It's ouch. Yeah, yeah. It's very much lot. ouch. But don't care. Uh, all right, man. Um, Uriah. Yeah, I think you're the one most likely to know this. Give me, um, either give me a history check. History. Mm -hmm. What is? I don't think I get a huge bonus to this, but I did okay on the dice roll. Yeah, so a total seventeen. Um, as you're starting to see this all play out, Carionettes shouldn't have been able to take all your powers. That's not how this should have worked. However, Desmond, as you stab yourself with the pen, uh, <clears throat> inflicting the curse. The Lupine you would have made the save to against getting soul swapped, but because of the curse, fails. And you immediately <laughs> in swift shift back into your own body, pinning an invisible Uriah, but now with a silver pin sticking out of your ankle. <laughs> and now everybody roll initiative. Rah! Stupid dolls. And when you say that, you see uh, Maligno just goes, well, okay then. Looks like I'm gonna have to teach them a lesson myself. And jumps off the caravan. And when he hits the ground, the ground cracks under him like boom. I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show off a little bit, Pedalwick. What are you doing, man? I'm gonna show them what's up. Show them what's up. <laughs> no. no. 3024 initiative and Desmond looks at Pedal Week and was just, I thought we were bros. We are bros. We can't we be bros we if bros. you're excited about him showing us what's up with what he took our bodies. Well, he, I don't, he didn't take them. 
but he's gonna try to show us what's up after they somebody took him. He's gonna show us what's up. You do you understand what he means by show us what's up? You're about to find out what I mean by what's up. He's gonna try to fight oh, us and probably kill us. It could be anything. He's gonna try to kill us. Well then let's kill him back. Okay. You gonna help us with that? Um us <clears throat> and my bros! No. Thanks, bro. The bros. Thanks, bro. The bros. Cool. cool. While this is going on, I rolled a nat 20 in initiative. Hey. 30 20 on the initiative as All well. Right. So, in Uriah? Uh, 12. And Pedalwick? <laughs> it's, been, it's been a busy day. I'm, I'm sitting back for a bit. Again, Pedalwick, you're not going last. You're going first in the second round. Uh, so, uh, Nahara, you see he jumps down. You see the ground crack under him. You hear that exchange. Uh, and he just says, you might want to cover your eyes, kids. I don't want you to have any bad dreams from this. And you see the kids do start to back up slightly, but none of the dolls move. Uh, but it is your turn. Um, I am going to bonus action form of dread. And, and the kids freak the F out and scatter. <laughs> as, running in all directions. As they absolutely should. <laughs> and I am going to cast mental prison on him. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, what's the save on that? So I got to make an intelligence save. Let's see. Mm, he got a dirty 20. Okay. Well, he still takes damage. Okay. Um, so I got to roll 5d10 of psychic damage. All right. Desmond is on deck for the record. Uh, I failed to say the target takes 5d10 psychic damage and you make the area immediately around the target space appear dangerous to it in some way. Mm. So even if he makes the save, it seems dangerous. That's oh, no, no, I'm sorry. That's um, on a failed save that. Yeah, that's on a failed save. Yeah, no, he made the save Uh, on a successful. Sorry. Uh, new spells. You still take, you still, no, yeah, sorry. This is a new spell. You still take okay. on a successful save, the target takes 5d10 like damage, and the spell ends. All right, so you still take 5d10. Okay. Oh, five d10s. Five d10 of what kind of damage? Of psychic damage. Okay, perfect. Thirty-eight points of psychic damage. Thirty-eight points. Perfect. All right. Anything else for Nahara? Um, I am still in the air, uh, and that is it for me. How far am I, How far am I from him exactly? Because uh, I know I'm close, but I I want to be like sixty feet from him. Uh, you are immune to being frightened, correct? I am immune to being frightened. Yep. Perfect. Uh, yeah, you can move to sixty feet. Okay. Perfect. Uh, Desmond, your turn. Hey. Again, he's uh, about two and a half feet tall. Desmond wants to first back away from Brother Uriah, however possible, just mm-hmm. in case there was still any nonsense. Mm-hmm. Uh, and immediately goes to bite the angry dolly. Go ahead and roll it. We're sorry. If you're in a game, and your DM rolls, and they make that face and make that sound, it's not going to end well for you. Oh, no. We're going to watch this play out. Watch. We'll see. All right, so my role ah, is... Look at that bitch! <laughs> the hit B-Dave made is... a face. There was a face B-Dave made. This doesn't yeah. look good for us. Yeah. yeah. Um, is it a 14 to hit? The... Actually, a uh, 15 to hit. Uh, 15 is not enough. You go to bite, and he just ducks out of the way. Cool, because I'm also following that up with uh, Claw. Claws is dirty 20 to hit. Uh, a dirty 20 is still not enough. <laughs> and with that, to end the turn, cast Hunter's Mark. Perfect. Uh, what is your AC? Uh, Desmond? 15. Actually, wait. 16. 
Uh, the reason why I made that face is I rolled for his two attacks and got two 20s. <laughs> oh, man! Mm -hmm. So, Desmond mm -hmm. comes snapping and biting at him, and he says, uh, Maligno looks over at you, Piddlewick, and he's like, you remember how I told you how I messed up Giuseppe? How I got yeah. taking his crap? Yeah, and, man. Yeah, yeah, let me show you. Let me show you how I put it to him. <laughs> and like when he goes and punches Desmond twice, you all hear shockwaves <laughs> when he's hitting him. Um, oh Jesus. Um, uh oh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I did note before we said anything, I'm pretty sure it went something like if it happens, be ready for it. I'm pretty sure this is where it happens. He punches you for 58 points of damage. <laughs> oh my god! And sends you sliding back and flies forward and hits you for another 58 points of damage. Uh, now, you, you were at full minus what, right, you, cool. what you stabbed yourself. So I guess you were at full minus four. So you, you, you'd you lost four, but now have taken uh, 116. 116. Yep. yep. And, so 120, basically. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and you Still see here. when he hits you the second time, he floats in midair and his eyes light up and beams shoot out of his eyes uh, and shoot you for 18 points of damage and knock Wait, you Wait, after the 58 oh, yes. bang, and the 58 bang, shoom, bang, yes. and the four, yes. there's another 18? Yes. Yes. I rolled two, which is statistically improbable. <laughs> but that mm -hmm. is what happened. And he, you all see Desmond go sliding across the dirt, grievously injured, uh, but still alive. And Pedrick, or, uh, and Damn, I'm like, no. <laughs> just lands and he goes, I know, that's right. I said I was going to do it. What's up? Shit, man. <laughs> Chill yeah. out. That's what's up. <laughs> it's like, Desmond just looks up and is just like, like holding his grip page and is just like, <laughs> 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 yeah, he's a two, foot, a two foot carved wooden boy. Uh, Uriah, however, it is your turn. Okay. He, actually, he turns he turns around and looks at you all, and his eyes are still glowing. And he's like, "Hello, I, I'll try to leave your bro alive." Okay. Chill the f out, man. <laughs> okay. You didn't kill me. Hey. But Uriah, it's your turn. Hey, doll. As you can see, I am not dead. Okay, uh, Uriah is going to. All right, I think I'm going to go for broke on this. Uh oh. So, thanks to having read from the Book of Exalted Deeds, any cleric spell I cast is actually cast as one level higher. Mm -hmm. So, if I cast an eighth level spell, it actually counts as a ninth level spell slot. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to hit him with. A ninth level guiding bolt. Okay. Okay. So let me just because it's not a, I gotta add do it manually here. Mm -hmm. All right. So this will actually do twelve d six. Okay. Okay. Okie doke. Guiding bolt is a great soap opera. <laughs> <laughs> I love guiding bolt. Mm -hmm. As the okay, domain so turn. First, I got to hit him. First, you got to hit him. Pray for a 20. I got a 20! <laughs> he got nice. it! Nice. Yes. This nice. Is okay. Yes. Yeah. This is doubled. Mm -hmm. This is doubled then. All 24 right. D6. Okay. So I got I got 66 here. I'm going to roll that uh, four times. Perfect. Let's do some math. Pit okay. I'm mathing. I'm mathing. That's like, okay, 16... Uh, 18, 22 with the first one. 22. 22 of four. So 22 plus, uh, oh, that's nice. Uh, 22 plus 12 plus 10. So that's 20, 22 plus 22 plus 
somewhere in the distance, even though we've switched bodies already, uh, little doll anime Nahara is swooning <laughs> in <true>. anime fashion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's uh, on your side. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that is 22 plus 27 plus another. Mm-hmm. Okay, plus another 20. Plus 21. Plus 21. Okay. All right. And, okay, hold on a second here. That was, that was 80, the total damage then, too. 20, is that 89? 20, and 21. Okay. Yeah, and is that 89 total? Probably. Um, I just I added it. I just put it here incrementally. Okay. Um, oh, uh, 90, 90 total, I think. Okay. And next attack gets advantage. Perfect. You see, he does turn around, and Uriah just unleashed this bombardment that like goes like completely over his whole body, and you see like burns the front side of him, and you see a tiny little trickle of blood come out of his nose, and he goes, "What? What? 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 <gasps> what? Pedalic, 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 what? Pedalic, oh you, my God! I let you know. You're a real boy. You're a real boy. <laughs> However, Piddlewick, it is your turn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, man. Do I want to take him out? Oh, what do you do? do your I bro, bled it's you? your bro. <laughs> I'm bludging a real boy. Bro, you got in your jelly bean. <laughs> I grab a you carving did, jelly bean. You did see the stat block that I gave you for Piddlewick, correct? Oh, wait, what was it? Oh, yeah, you have a significant amount of things you can do. Hang on, let me send it to you again. Oh, wait, <laughs> yeah, I know, I got this. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know what I should do, though. I mean, they're all pretty violent. <laughs> You know, I'd I, mean, say, I, would I, slam, say, I would slam attack this guy. I, 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 I would say, dude, look at those top spells you got there. Oh, wait, I got spells? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh my god, here we go. Uh, <laughs> oh wait, do I have to click on these things? Just tell me what to do, man. <laughs> no, it's it's, it's com- complete completely up to you. I let, let me let me just tell you this. I'll I'll put it like this. If it is your intent to put him away, that level nine spell will put him away. Yeah, I wanna put that I wanna put that oh, I got power word. I wanna do that one. Yeah. Power word kill. Ooh. <laughs> I like wait, that one. That means you just have to say the word kill to or die to him rather and he will so tell me how you do it he's looking he's like what hit a whack i know this 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 is like this is the best day of my life (laughs) bro bro yeah you're a real boy and you know what real boys do best party die (laughs) and he just looks at you and he goes that that's not that's not funny. That's that's not. And ah. falls over. And you see all the, all the other dolls just look for a second, and they go. But Maligno was our leader. We ah. need someone to tell us what to do. Who's gonna run this place? Pedalek. I will Pedalek. run. I will run the ass out of this place. And can I just say that S was cold? That S was cold, Piddlewick. It was. It was yes. extra cold blooded, but you know what? I appreciate you, bro. Verified. I had to do it for my boy. That's my boy Desmond. Did you see the way he treated him? I came out of nowhere. He did. It was rude. They Somewhere all... in some realm, Piddlewick has a blue check mark. <laughs> you see, they, they all sort of look down at Maligno and then look at you, Piddlewick, and they just all go, bro! Bro! Piddlewick, as the new Dark Lord of Odair, <laughs> this place will change into what you want it to look like. Oh, no. What does Piddlewick's dread domain look like? Tell us wow. everything. Mm-hmm. Everyone looks like me. A land of Piddlewicks. Buildings look like Piddlewick. <laughs> <laughs> Children look like Piddlewick. All the toys look like Piddlewick. And there's greasy stairways everywhere you go. Piddlewick, you've achieved total market saturation. (laughs) I'm where I'm happiest with myself. Well done. Congratulations. Wait, do we look like Piddlewick? 
Do, do they look like Piddlewick? Piddlewick? I mean, no, I keep them because I'm sending them away. Thank you. Well, Thank as you. you see the mist swirl and everything starts to change, you see that same uh, marionette that you, at least you think it was her, but now it's Piddlewick wearing a green dress, kind of riding on a unicycle, uh, rolls up and she says, um, well, well, this is unexpected, but um, can we at least finish the party? Party! <laughs> party, party, party. And uh, <laughs> you see uh, a huge rager uh, begetting uh, a bachelor party for one such as Uriah uh, begins to go throughout the newly reformed under new management dread domain of Odare. And the party goes well into the night. Uh, a couple of questions. First of all, Piddlewick, do, yes. you, do you have anyone tend to Desmond? <laughs> oh, of course! There's a whole crew of Piddlewick nurses and doctors <laughs> taking care of poor Desmond and giving him all the life-giving jelly beans we have. <laughs> Uh, there are minor whispers um, about uh, just how easily Maligno showed you what was up, though, Desmond. You kind of can't help but overhear that um, while they're patching you up. Uh, you do see they they carry him away uh, and they bury him in the cemetery next to Giuseppe and put a really big petalwick shaped rock on top of the grave to make sure that he can't come out of it. Um important point of clarification knowing that now Piddlewick makes the rules around here and this is a bachelor party what do you guys spend the night doing well first of all i want to know how are we able to discern our Piddlewick from all the other Piddlewicks? oh you don't know <laughs> <laughs> who is Piddlewick Fair. prime <laughs> yes how are we to discern you from all the Piddlewick variants? There's only one true Piddlewick, too. <laughs> Do the rest of them name themselves Piddlewick 3 through 2744? Yes, and it's up to them That's to figure it out. Oh, it's like That's the Zorro world. It's yes. like the Zorro world. Given, okay, cool. I have given them the right to decide amongst themselves the numbering system. That is the kind of benevolent leader. Right. But there's only one number two, and that's who we are friends with. Everyone loves number two. It, 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 is, it is an elaborate system of rock, paper, scissors, rat races, jelly bean eating contests, burping contests, but a, a Lord of the Flies-esque hierarchy does begin to emerge fairly quickly amongst the Piddlewicks. Mm -hmm. They can lose their number at any point. So keep in line, Piddlewicks! <laughs> yeah, it's a sliding scale. Definitely. I'm going to rule this land with an iron magical merry murder stick. <laughs> Perfect. What how do you what do you guys spend the night doing? You can do anything in this place. You know the man. Hmm. Who wants to bang a Piddlewick? I suspect. <laughs> I suspect that we, uh, oh, because there's, know, there's all of your collective dreams can come true. I mean, we're in Rome, so I suspect we spend a lot of the evening pushing copies of Piddlewick downstairs because that's yes. the only thing that a there is to push downstairs. Eating yeah. jelly beans and shoving Piddlewicks. <laughs> Whatever happens, Nahara wakes up naked. <laughs> 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 Desmond, once you're recovered, what does Desmond do for the evening? Desmond walks up behind all of the Piddlewicks that had any kind of <laughs> to say about uh, the situation <laughs> with the former leader and doesn't push them down the stairs. He, like, picks them up and just, like, <laughs> like bowls them oh, man. down the stairs. Desmond, you've invented Piddlewick bowling. I love it. You are the master of games here. <laughs> Perfect. 
uh, until the time comes. Uh, you know, it's difficult to tell how long you're here partying. P Piddlewick was telling you the truth. It's like Vegas. There's no clocks. Uh, you think y it's been about a day. You felt sleepy at some point. You've gotten hungry a couple of times. Uh, but it seems like, what time of day is it in the perpetuity here in O'Dare now, Piddlewick? Oh, man, it's constantly midnight. Oh, does that mean today's my bachelorette party? It's always your bachelorette party. <laughs> uh, perfect. Uh, when the time comes after a certain amount of things that we shall never speak of, even under hypnosis, take place, uh, and it comes time for the Dark Lord of the Dread Domain of Odair to bid you adieu, Piddlewick, what do you say to them? Friends, we've done so much together. I just would like to say I probably won't remember any of it. Yeah, that's fair. Farewell, Cheers farewell. to that. Mm, all right. <laughs> we can, farewell, Piddlewick. We'll, we'll always remember you. What? I'm sorry. We will always remember you, Piddlewick. Why? Actually, Piddlewick, could you? Even before if you we go, don't. Before we go, I would like you. Could you explain to me the difference between near and far? Yes, of course. <gasps> yes, this please. It's near. Mm -hmm. At this is far. Right. Near. One mm -hmm. more time. Far. Yes. Near. Now Thank I'm you. getting it. Thank you, Piddlewick. Thank you so much. Midway. Near. Mm. <laughs> you Thank you. One by one, <laughs> the multiplicity of Piddlewicks all over the nation are pondering the reality of near and far is when you all uh, finally make your leave from Odair, head back into the mist. As you are departing, Nahara, you hear a familiar, you feel a familiar sensation, and you feel something tugging at you, pulling you off course from the rest of the group. You feel yourself slipping away from them in the mists, and you hear a familiar voice in your head. You've had your fun, child. Now I think it is time we have a chat. And that is a good place for us to stop. To go. Hmm. 